What is up, Friday Nighters? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Just Another Friday Night. Uh, man, I wish I would have had the TikTok going because y'all missed a whole episode right there. Uh, but guys, uh, it's good to be back here in the pod lab. Uh, I am CM Chuck, and this face you do recognize. Double A, Adam Adam. Adam, welcome back, brother. Welcome back. I missed you, man. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, how are you feeling? How are good, you doing? Good, good. I'm I'm negative. I'm great. I always felt great. Uh, vaccine really saved my ass, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm back. I'm back in action. We have a really fun episode. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. To get yes, my, yes. my feet back in the water. Yeah, so, totally, so, totally. Yeah. Oh, and we got our first guy here. We got, we got to get going Steve. with him. Guys, we got something special for you tonight. If you're here in Texas... People have been talking about it. We're going to try it here. To get, well, I've had it already several times because I had it where it originates. But Double A, this is your first one, right? Yes, yes. So the, you've been hearing about it, but Yingling is here from uh, Philadelphia, from uh, Pennsylvania's oldest brewery. Uh, it has now made its way to Texas. Uh, I bootlegged some from Louisiana when I was there. Uh, they're twisties. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But um, uh, Steve, cheers. I'm glad to be back with my pod partner in the pod lab. Here's to you. Oh, okay, cool. Gosh, dang, I cool. love this beer, man. Cool. Let me tell you. I like it. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, but guys, um, yes, yes. Uh, my mom, too. She's good now, negative. Uh, I took two tests in a week, both negative. Happy that Double A is negative, and his fam was good. And Yeah, my family was great. That's what, uh, whew, yeah, that was lucky on our part. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, they tested it twice and both came out negative twice. All three of them. So, awesome, man. Yeah, good so deal. Luckily, you never reached them. So great, great stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. So yeah, and so yeah, it sucks that Double A missed the season end and the season opener, but he's back now, and we're gonna do the celebration now. We want to say a special thanks to uh, my sister, Untamable Amy, for filling in and helping out. Uh, best I, best host that we can hope for, you know. So awesome. Thank you, Amy. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, <clears throat> sis. Really, really appreciate. It. I wouldn't rather do it with anybody else. Nope. And uh, thank you to all of our guests that popped in on the 75th, yeah. our variety Huge episode. Guests. I just kind of yeah. called in some favorites at the end. I got Jerry D right out of work. Totally rad Christmas. I got uh, Roxanne, uh, John. Roxanne and John. I got uh, Alfred, Aaron B Aaron. doing the food stuff again. I got uh, uh, Alfred from uh, Collector's Cove uh you know to to give us an update on his condition he's also negative now and doing better he actually worked the ekman's show yeah that was uh, awesome so we're happy yeah. about that we don't want anyone to be sick or ailing or whatever but uh people in the house say what's up K rizzo in the house riz what's up guys he says welcome back double a as as does steve welcome back double a yeah, everyone missed you double a uh and great to hear and the news and uh jason from honda says what's up bros jason what's up man thanks for waiting up late for us sorry we're late again <laughs> uh, you know what, guys? What happened was is I was trying to buy us a webcam through Facebook Marketplace, and I don't think I've done that much business on there, Double A. And uh, we and had I don't a, think you will. <laughs> yeah, we had an agreed upon price, place, and time. Guy never showed. So, but while I was waiting for him, I wasn't here with you guys, and thus causing the show to be late. But I wanted a webcam to hopefully improve the clarity picture, and uh, you know that you guys get when you see our mugs. Uh, but it didn't happen, so I came to Double A's with no new webcam. So, but I guess I saved some money, so I didn't spend it there. But uh, alas, you know what I mean. Uh, it is what it is, and we're here now. So, uh, again, I cannot express enough how happy I am to be back here in the Pod Lab. Uh, you know, working from home, <laughs> so to say, is is okay. You know what I mean. Uh, Double A works from home here when he does this show, but it's fun because we're in this room. Um, but uh, let's get on to some business real quick while I have the man here, <laughs> Rizzo. People suck. Yes. Riz, while you are here, I do not want you to miss this, brother, and I know that you are out and about doing things with your family. I don't want you to miss out on time with them. But, guys, we mentioned this, and it's now probably like three weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. But we mentioned with when Mario was on, when um, all you guys were on, that we were going to have something big for our 75th or our season premiere. Our season premiere would have been last week. Uh, the week before would have been the season three finale. Then uh, last week would have been the season four premiere. Unfortunately, I wasn't going to do this without Double A because this is so cool. But we had three weeks ago, we had talked about there would be a new shirt design for season four. This is the season four design. I do not know how we're going to do it, how we're going to make it available to people. I'm going to get with uh, the designer, uh, Riz, Chris Rizzo uh, of Invincible Comics and more on how we're going to do this. Guys, please go check out his comic book group here, Invincible Comic Books and uh, excuse me, Invincible Comics and more. They do auctions all the yeah, time. I, I got a whole bunch of comics again from Rizzo. He's, and his, 
site. So he's beat me out for a bunch of stuff I want. Sometimes I get to an auction and I'm there too damn late and I miss a lot of good shit. So, <laughs> uh, but guys, if you're in that group, you have a great opportunity to get a hold of some great stuff that mm -hmm. uh, hard to find variant books at a great reasonable price. Yeah. Uh, I believe uh, uh, most of the sellers right now are shipping because of the you know mm -hmm. the Delta variant. Um, so it's like you know it's good. It's a cheap price. They'll bundle your books and you'll get a great deal. Uh, so don't be afraid to to do the uh, the shipping option. Um, but um, <laughs> Chris says I'll clean my glasses so y'all will be in HD. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate that. <laughs> or just take them off. Might look better. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Chris Rizzo again. Invincible Comics and more. Go join the group. Uh, get on there if you need help or information to it. Get on our group, the Friday Night Faithful. We'll give you a guiding way. But uh, Chris is also a very talented artist. He's does some cool shit. I let him know that you know our name, Just Another Friday Night, comes from the. Frank Miller, just another Saturday night one shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, there's a really great picture, and I'll put this up so you guys can see the, all the side by sides of what that looks like. And he's like, "Man, I got these ideas, man. I, I wanted, I want to do a design for y'all." We're like, "Great!" I just yeah, said awesome. we're going to do a design mm -hmm. for a shirt for season four. And three weeks ago, we had all these people in here saying we're going to buy one, we're going to buy two because there's a double A variant and there's a CM <laughs> variant. So. Uh, I think without further ado, right, Double A, let's yeah. let's show them here. And again, if you guys know the Just Another Saturday Night cover, it is amazing. And uh, Rizzo really did, did himself. So here we go. Boom! The season four design, the Alamo City podcast right here, Just Another Friday Night. Guys, this is virtually a copy of of what the Frank Miller cover looks like for Just Another Saturday Night. In the background on his, it's Marv. It says Just Another Saturday Night. But uh, Riz threw in our mic. He made it look like a comic book cover. It's got his amazing, uh, look at this in the corner here, guys. It looks like the like a comic book logo up there. Can you see that double A in there? Yeah, yeah. How awesome is that 2021 edition? Uh, guys, I wanna make these available for purchase for everyone. They are super spectacular. I love it. And if you guys didn't catch it, the silhouette, one is myself, this one. and then, CM looks good. He looks like Elvis. And Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I, I think that Chris could make me a little thinner. Chris, a little bit thinner. Uh, but double A here with the hat and the glasses <laughs> is just epic, right? <laughs> I love it to death. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful shirt, man. Um, Invincible Comics and more here in the, in the, in the corner. Just another Friday night, our logo there, the, the podcast mic, us talking into it. <laughs> so super fun, man. I, I this I cannot wait to wear this. Um, we should wear them next week on the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. be wearing them for sure. Uh, guys, I'm going to work with Chris. We might, maybe we'll put these up on threeleggedrabbit.com with uh, with Lucky, the dork dad, um, on his site. Or uh, Chris has a, a, I believe, some type of distribution he can do as well. So we'll, we'll definitely get... Um, We'll get together and figure it out. Uh, us and Rizzo will figure that all out. Um, but guys, go check out that group, Invincible Comics. They've also got their own shirts. Uh, Rizzo just did a really new, great design. He combined finally the you know Invincible show uh, oh, logo yes, with the yes, blood, but it's yes, Invincible yes, Comics. Yeah. I gotta get I one that. of those. I saw that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he did a great design for Lucky too for the three-legged rabbit. It's kind of nice. cool. It's like a rabbit kind of beat up with like a crutch. Nice. Uh, so it's the three-legged, the three legs. Very so nice. Very very neat. Very very talented man. Um, Jason says that looks badass, bro. Thank you very much, Jason. I appreciate it. Um, and and uh, anyone out there that, that sees this later on that was wondering, that was asking about uh, the two shirts, you know what I mean? Um, there, that we can see what we can do. We'll figure it all out. But yes, thank you so very much, Rizzo, for this yeah, beautiful thanks, design, Bruce. man. Appreciate I love it. it to death. I got a kick out of it. I could not wait for Double A to see it in person yeah. and, and have it in his hands. Cause <laughs> thank you, Chris. I then, appreciate it. That's awesome. It's really, really rad. But That's go, awesome. go join the group. Look in those auctions. There's a little bit of something for everybody. There was a great uh, auction recently from Candice. She was doing, uh, she had a bunch of Harley Quinn, Batgirl, uh, uh, Catwoman Sandman, stuff. Preacher. Preacher. I mean, like, Deadpool. really cool. And she even had some Funko Pops in there. Funko really Pops. cool Pop, Pulp Fiction mini yeah, uh, yeah. figure thing, whatever. And she ships because she's not local to San Antonio, uh, but she's here in Texas. So cheap shipping, guys. It's, you know, like five bucks or something like that, I think, or maybe a little bit less. I don't know exactly what it is, but. You get in the group, you go check it out. There'll be some great auctions. I think Rizzo's going to do another auction soon. Uh, I saw another gentleman just put one up. So there's always cool stuff to find there. It's kind of like getting to shop in a comic store without having to go into a comic yeah, store. You yeah, know what I mean? So it really it's, it's is. fun. Yeah. A lot of fun, man. Uh, 
Chris says, I had a lot of fun doing it, and you guys are so awesome, so it's my pleasure. <laughs> ah, the pleasure's all on our side, sir. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank yeah, you very thank much. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So we love that, guys. Please go check out Invincible Comics and more. The group. It's a Facebook group. Uh, it's not like a place you can walk in. Not yet, anyway. Uh, but uh, go in there. It, it's really cool because multiple people can sell stuff in there. Like, we could do a sale in there if we wanted. We mm-hmm. could sell if we had. We're trying to unload stuff or whatever. Uh, you know what I mean? So, uh it's great. It's an awesome place. We have, like I said, we've both bought stuff out of there. I have an exquisite uh, set of Black Panther books I got out of there right here. And this is what uh, their logo mainly looks like right there. We've got stickers here uh, with us uh, from Rizzo and the group. So go check them out, guys. Um, and we greatly appreciate you, Riz, and, and all, all the good work you're doing over there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, double A, what else is going on, my brother? Uh, you know, what? there's been some stuff. Some stuff has happened, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> I finally watched Suicide Squad. I haven't really gotten to tell you guys, but I finally watched it. I loved it. I've mm-hmm. seen it like about two or three times. Uh, what a great fucking movie that was. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and I got so fucking caught up that I bought Bloodsport's first appearance. Mm. I got uh, Amanda Waller's first appearance, and I got uh, the modern version of Suicide Squad, their kind of first appearance. So, okay, okay. Uh, that was pretty cool. So I bought those while I was watching it the first time. Yeah. You know, so I was like, damn, that's pretty damn cool. Like, I love Idris Elba. I thought he kicked ass. Oh, he was excellent. I, him and John Cena were just fucking mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, the brutality that Cena, the Peacemaker, has, it's it's fucking insane. I was like, oh, wow, this guy's really brutal. Yeah. Like, so I was like, man, so it was a badass movie. I love seeing Starro. Starro was cool to see. <laughs> Pretty uh, formidable, I thought. Yeah. I was like, oh, man, yeah. once them things get on you, well, you was like fucked. the What's cool is that he's like the first villain for the Justice League mm-hmm. in America. So yeah. that's always fucking cool, you know? Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> Then uh, we have the Spider Man trailer. That's right. That's it's breaking right. Breaking all records right now, you know. Uh, man, what did you think? I was out of breath. I was like, ah! you know, when when Doc Ock came out, I was like, oh wow, <laughs> now it's real. Now it's yeah. actually real. Yep. Now it's they're like, bringing whoa the Toby era, the Sam Raimi era into this universe now. So that pumpkin bomb hitting the ground, looking yeah. that iconic way. We yeah. know the laugh you hear. You're like, yeah. oh, what the fuck is oh, that? Defoe? Like a lot of people on Twitter are putting it. It's Harry. The, yeah, the, the, the son from the Amazing Spider Man movie. I don't think they're bringing in James Franco. I think he's in uh, still in hot hot water, not getting no love. Uh, no, no, and you shouldn't bring Harry back. It, it needs to be Norman. It mm-hmm. needs to be Norman mm-hmm. Osborn. Uh, I know a lot of people want. Um, Thomas Hayden Church to come mm, back as Sandman. Sandman, yeah. That'd be awesome if he did come back. Uh, I loved his Sandman. Yeah. I thought he was one of the better parts of Spider-Man 3. Yeah. So Yeah, uh, definitely. I think I agree with you 100% on that. Yeah. Um, so Electro, then, they're saying the Jamie Foxx Electro. And Doctor Strange, everyone's like, is that really strange? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that he just did that spell, just... Oh, Reckless, really, Nilly? Really? Like, I just, just going to ask you for something? Yeah. So I was like, hmm. I know a lot of people are saying kind of like, oh, man, like, you know, Strange wouldn't be that irresponsible. And I'm like, well, don't forget he is like an arrogant doctor. You know he what is, I mean? but I mean, after like Endgame, it seemed like he was like the strange that we kind of know, you know, mm-hmm. that one that kind of like... The cautious. The... Yeah. It's hard to say, man. Hard and to say. And then people are like, know. man, I hope they're not doing a one more day. Like a lot of people hit it to that storyline, the one more day storyline mm-hmm. where... You know, everyone forgot who Spider-Man was, including right. Mary Jane. So. And that storyline came after the kind of the big Civil War unmasking. Yes, yes it was. And it became yeah. public knowledge that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. And, of course, everyone's, like, still flipping out because everyone still wants to see Mephesto. So they're like, is it Mephesto? You know? They're, I'm like, we already kind of established it's going to be Kang if you watch Loki. It's like... I, I don't know, man. People are fixated back good. on, on I, Mephesto. I love Mephisto. I'm a huge Mephisto fan. I'm like, I want to see Mephisto too, but I don't think it's happening right now. <laughs> like... <laughs> and then um, I have these two pickups that I did. Um, this was really awesome. I really mm-hmm. highly recommend it. It's a biography in a graphic novel style. It showcases his life when growing up to the war, World War II, to creating Captain America, working for DC, working for Marvel, working back at DC, helping the image guys kind of, uh, you know, do their own shit. It's yeah. really good. This was actually really, really good. It's like about almost 200 pages. Um, but I highly recommend this. If you want to find out about Jack Kirby, yeah. that's a good way. So it's a life of comics, but it's done but in it's graphic, done in novel, graphic style? Novel, novel style. And oh, I want to read And this. it's based like on quotes that he's made in TV, in magazines, in you know, articles, everything. So it's based on his own words. 
of how he felt and Very everything. Very cool. Jack King Kirby, guys, right here. That's and then, because I'm that. never going to be able to afford this. I actually found this at Barnes & Noble's. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 through 7 and the Raphael one-shot in this trade. Ooh, the original. Nice. So I'm never going to be able to afford these issues. Mm -hmm. So this is the next best thing. And it's pretty fat. It's a yeah. fat book. I like that it's big. You know, and it's like, again, it's the seven issues with the Raphael. Well, one those books were a weird shape, right? They're yeah, they were. Runs. Yeah. That's why it was kind of yeah. like a different, like a, almost like a magazine. I so, forget that they were black and white. Too. Yeah, yeah. And so I was really happy to pick that up. Damn, I, this art is badass. Yeah, man. I never thought I would be able to read those issues anywhere. So when I found that, you know, I was like, okay, cool. I'm picking that up. So. But uh, the yeah. iconic turtles, man. Let yeah, me tell Kevin you. Eastman, Peter Lard. So very cool, awesome. very cool. Love that. Um, I didn't bring any pickups today, guys, because I was running late, and so that didn't happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Riz Rich. says, uh, absolutely uh, welcoming new members and sellers to Invincible Comics and more. Uh, he says, thanks for the love, of course, Chris. Uh, Rich in the house says, what up, guys? What up, Rich? Rich, what up? Me and Rich were fighting today online <laughs> in the Friday Night Faithful. That's okay. I, I, actually, I think that was on my personal Facebook page. We were fighting. <laughs> Not fighting, disagreeing, disagreeing. We have some disagreements. We're going to talk about that in a second here. Um, uh, Chris says, uh, he was a great Sandman regarding Thomas Hayden Church. Excellent Sandman. Mm -hmm. Good look. We mm -hmm. love the classic costume. We, I loved him. Thick uh, concerning the book. <laughs> and uh, Rich says, nice pickups. And LOL, Rich, I know you're laughing at our, our disagreement. So big wrestling news, Double A. I announced <sighs> yeah. it live yes. as it happened on our, yes. our premiere. Yes. Uh, and actually, that's where I caught it from, was actually watching the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah. I turned it immediately. I was like, I, oh, shit. I have to admit, man, it's, it's enough for me to be highly intrigued again of course i, I want to watch that paper we, you know we've been following him since ring of honor you know and we just love this guy i have had double a on this show say many times and and literally enlightened me to things that i turned him on to that i didn't know i was like oh shit i didn't know that i was the one that, <laughs> and i'm like wow i fucking feel honored that's cool like it makes me feel like you know oftentimes i you know Forget that I'm the older one. Or <laughs> Not an insult there, Double yeah, A. Just yeah, sometimes yeah. you're a little more yeah. knowledge than me. Uh, I've drank a lot more probably and forgotten more shit than I should have. But but CM Punk is a wrestler that oh, I can wholly say Double A got me into, showed me Ring of Honor wrestling, uh, kind of showed me New Japan wrestling, and showed me, well, I won't say kind of did, and, you know, the Bullet Club. I mean, like, I'm not going to say I was just like this, like, I only watch WWE guy, but it's like, I knew there was other wrestling, but I didn't really just like look for it or find anything. But uh, Double A is like, you got to watch this guy, Ring of Honor, CM Punk. And watching him in Samoa Joe, those three classics, I mean, I was blown mm -hmm. away. And I just love this guy's promo, this guy's in-ring work, everything about him. You know what I mean? I just thought it was the fucking coolest. Uh, so much so that my very first ever big con I went to, Wizard World in Austin, I went for him. I went to meet this guy or whatever. He was the WWE awesome. champion at awesome the time. Picture. And, uh, you know, he wasn't like overly polite or whatever, but he wasn't really rude either. He was just kind of like there, you know what I mean? And uh, I have a picture that he made out. It's from CM to That's CM. That's fucking awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> so I had to make it yeah. out that way. And uh, um, still love Punk, you know what I mean? I supported yeah, I him mean, when he did the UFC thing. Yeah, you know he got what? beat, but fuck it, you know? I, You know, I see him on Twitter a lot and here and there, but you know what? To actually hear this song come out and him pop out, mm -hmm. And I was like, it, it took me back. I was like, okay, I did miss this guy. I missed this guy more than I thought I did. And hearing him, you know, do the wrestling thing. I mean, seeing the fans just go ape shit. Crazy um, pop. Chicago United Center. Yeah. Of Chicago's course. always, that's his home. Like for certain oh, yeah. wrestlers, there's always like a, a special place. Chicago is always going to be CM Punk territory. And I don't know what the truth is, but what I've <clears> heard <throat> is, is that, even WWE has never sold it out, sold it out. But AEW for that mm -hmm. show, and of course it's him, and a return, they sold it out, yeah. the United Center. So yeah. that's them doing a big arena like WWE does. So yeah, I mean, I was I'm wholeheartedly supportive. I don't know much about this Darby Allen guy. I know he's, he's hanging fine. with Sting. He, he's fine. You know what I mean? He's but little though. That's what I see. He's, that he's super little. little but you know what I mean? He's so, fine. That's going to make for me an interesting match. How is Punk going to work? And is he going to work it like a big guy? You know what I mean? I know. Like, it's been know? seven years. So And he looks, he lost some mass too. It's he not, did. He not did. ECW Punk when he no. was kind of bulked up. No. You know what I mean? No. Uh, and there's age. You know what I mean? Father time. Ring seven rust. Years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Uh, 
And to in case you're interested, uh, he is going to be coming out on Heels. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if anyone's been watching on Stars. I have. I love the first two episodes, and CM Punk's going to be there this Sunday on that show. So, nice. <laughs> so. I, I want to watch. I was hearing about this with the Stephen Amell yeah, from uh, it's good. I like Arrow. It. I like it. So this it's is fucking his funny. Life Arrow. It's okay. funny. Okay. It's got a heavy wrestling vibe. Yes. Like like, like yes. glow or more like. More serious. It's a little bit more serious. It's a kind of like a really indie promotion. Okay. I would say maybe like RCW size. Oh, nice. Almost. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, it, it's good. It's a good show. Uh, the okay. second episode is called Dusty Finish. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, so nice. If, if you know anyone knows, a Dusty Finish is like a cheap kind of like finish. Like uh, if Schoolboy you want, pin. No, no, like, well, even worse. Well, yeah, that too. But like, even worse, like if the champ threw somebody over the ring. That was a disqualification. People, oh. you know, people <laughs> chat. You know, dusty finish, dusty finish. So it was like cheap little things, you know. So, um, but you know what? The the CM Punk promo. I really loved how he said, you know, that he loved wrestling. He hated, he kind of hated leaving Ring of Honor. I'm mm. glad he still kind of has that love for a Ring of Honor. Yeah. That, you know, he was like, you know, I hated leaving that place. And, you know, that, you know, I left a place that made me feel sick about wrestling, you know. So right. I'm kind of glad he, he didn't have any resentment towards Ring of Honor. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because I love his matches there. I mean, if you want to see him versus AJ Styles, it's there. Him versus Brian Danielson, it's there. Him versus Samoa Joe, it's there. Him versus Raven, it's there. You know, so. Anything when you're young and hungry, you know, it's going to be really, really good. So that that's super awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rich says, uh, I was eating pizza. Thanks, CM Punk. <laughs> uh, and ice cream. Uh, yeah, very cool because he gave out ice cream and then he yeah, bought he pizza for, for the, the <clears throat> thing, too. Yeah. That's cool. And then Rich says, Don't get me wrong. He's a great wrestler and I'm a huge fan, especially from Ring of Honor. It's the comments that he makes, uh, all of WWE makes uh, when they go and all of all, w, all ex WWE make it, when yeah. they go. Yeah, it's pretty much like it's a shithole over there. It's sorry. It's stupid. Yeah. I know it's hard for us to feel like one of our favorite promotions gets shit on, right? I mean, like, Sometimes I, I've had friends, and this is going to be a different example, but I've had friends that when they work for a place, mm -hmm. they're a company guy. You know what I mean? Like, don't say anything bad about an example. I work, I had a friend work for HEB. You know, fuck Walmart. And at the time, there was even Albertsons and Kroger. It was like, fuck them or whatever. Handy, handy. HEB is the shit, blah, blah, blah. Well, after giving these guys 10 years of his life, they fired him, like, out of nowhere or whatever. And. You know, he was blindsided and it sucked or whatever. And, you know, we all busted his balls and we're like, oh, is it still, you're still Mr. H-E-B or whatever, you know what I mean? And it was kind of like, nah, fuck them. They fucked me over or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, it all depends on what you go through. I worked for 11 years for a company that that I love the people there. Steve is one of those people that I, I know there that's here, one of the Friday Nighters. Uh, and after 11 years, they did something very similar to me. And it hurt and it sucked. And me and my good buddy Jimmy joked that we kind of have PTSD from that place. I literally still put in my password for my computers there on my current computers. It's been four fucking years. <laughs> I mean, it's like when you get hurt by a place, it's like a breakup. It's like a relationship. Someone you love turns on you and they hurt you. It's That's what it is. And so it doesn't bother me when these guys go out and say these things because – we didn't we don't we didn't walk in their shoes we don't know what they went through you know what i mean like nobody wants know, to be in a dumb gimmick or you know whatever but the build-up is so great for wwe it's the number one wrestling planet mm -hmm. it can make you an even bigger star mm -hmm. you'll be a household name it doesn't matter if they let you go everybody will know you because you're on wwe tv and it gets so built in their heads they want that fucking wrestlemania moment you know it gets so built up build up build up that when it doesn't happen yeah they get pissy i mean yeah. like you know, I mean, you got to, it's them too. They want to go to the WWE. They want to go to the show. I mean, yeah. You know, so. And and it sucks that, I mean, you know, like. It's like you said, you're not always going to be the number one student anymore. Right. You know, so. Right. I mean, it, like, it is like the quote unquote majors and it's like, it's where the money's at. It's where they're going to push your shit and market you. It's like you, you. said, you're, everyone's going to know, you know, like hardcore fans knew who Daniel Bryan was. Brian Danielson. Mm -hmm. Hardcore fans knew. Mm-hmm. But the large audience didn't even know who he was. Right. He goes to WWE, all of a sudden, everybody knows who he is. Sure. And he wins all these awards, all these wrestling awards. Yeah. Just like that in one year. Yeah. You know, yeah. just because he's on a bigger stage. I mean, no. yeah, you're on you're on national so television. Not even national, you're on global television. So am you're I right? kind of really hoping for that, really, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, but by all means, I mean, like, some people did it, you know, and, and criticized them as you may, but they grew their brand on their they own. Did. The Young yeah. Bucks used the internet. You know, Kenny Omega, mm. these guys, yeah, they were in mm. Japan, but they used the power of the tools at their hand to 
to <laughs> thank you steve <laughs> <laughs> they use the power of that to to promote themselves and move themselves into a better position to where these guys like how rare is that though that three guys kind of did it cody did it but mm -hmm. i mean who else really did it though you know double a when they got those shirts in hot topic that was such a smart that was a move huge who the move. fuck knew about the bullet huge. club and who liked that i can I was having to go to ProWrestlingTees.com, pay shipping, wait for it to come in the mail. Yeah. I could go into a store in my local Just, mall well, and buy a damn yeah. Bullet Club shirt. Badass. That's really an accomplishment. And that's using your the assets, the things that are at, at your disposal to do that and, and promote yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, Rich says, but then again, it's a show. So whatever, whatever makes ticket sales, I guess it works. Uh, yeah, it, it is, man. And ultimately, you know what I mean? Like I yeah, said, Vince is a businessman. He's always said that. And Yeah, uh, and I never really agreed with how he runs wrestling. He doesn't run it as wrestling. He runs it as a soap opera that's based around wrestling. And I've never really liked that ideal. I never have. Um, I think it was bad that he put all the territories out because there were people. There's people that just love being wrestlers. Mm -hmm. And they hate being called sports entertainers. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a big difference. Yeah. There's a lot of people in their craft that loved wrestling, just wanted to go out there, do a promo, do wrestling. I I don't like that Vince killed every territory. He didn't have to kill WCW. Yeah. He didn't have to go after him. He didn't have to go after Mid South Wrestling. He didn't have to go for the Von Erics, you know, Florida, but you know, I mean I don't know. It, it is what it is. It is what it, I mean. It's done, and it's done now too. You know what I mean? Like, like, like people say that people get on Facebook and they complain about Facebook, right? They're like, "Oh, Facebook sucks," but you don't get off it, right? It's like that's the same thing with WWE. It's like that's Vince's baby. It's like you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna. If you don't like what Vince does with wrestling, don't watch Vince's wrestling. And, and, and if you don't like working for him, don't work for Vince. You know what I mean? Yeah, like right now, and there's been two periods of my time that i don't watch it it's after the attitude was over mm -hmm. because it was just john cena or randy order mm -hmm. that was it or it yeah. was triple h yeah and you know whoever it was and then it's right now this period of time i yeah not enjoyed it not enjoyed its programming whatsoever i love the new generation i love the attitude era you know i even love the period between you know i yeah. like some of the ruthless aggression that period of like 2001 to 2005 you know, I like that period, too, with Eddie and Edge and Kurt Angle. Yeah, and, that's some good stuff you know, right there, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, I was just watching a thing, an old clip, because I'll watch old WWE clips all day, and I just saw this old one where it's... Uh, Somebody made a meme, and it was like when, when a guy is kissing ass at work, and it's that scene where it's Stone Cold, Angle... Uh, oh. Kane, Taker, yeah. and and Jericho, and Jericho's wanting to laugh so bad, and Vince is trying to pump him up. This is the worst time for WWE, <laughs> and I need you guys. And Stone Cold's like, worst time. Oh yeah, like, yeah. When he's when he's, doing, he's hitting Taker, and Taker's like, touch me again. You pull back and dub. So then he hits Angle and said, and it's so good. And you look at that lineup, and you're like, what oh, a man. fucking roster. Just main right event there. after main event after main event guy, you know. And uh, yeah. yeah, but you know what? When I didn't like it, I went to Ring of Honor. And yeah. Right, yeah, boom, right, yeah. And, and there's enough of that old, great, fantastic WWE stuff. And you know, what? I don't like what they did with the Peacock. They should have kept their own network. Because, I man, really wish they would. I would have. You can live off that they've old wrestling. Censored, it's amazing. They've amazing. censored so much shit on mm -hmm. there. So, and, and I, I'm taking nothing away from Vince. I mean, he's the he's the Godfather, the grandfather, yeah, whatever yeah. you want to call it, of wrestling. He's it. Uh, and I and I love. We've done whole episodes on WWE and WWF and. And so there's definitely the love is there or whatever, but the product has changed or whatever, you know, but just like, you know. But it didn't, you don't have to like everything. Like, we don't like mm -hmm. every run of our favorite characters of comics, you right. know. But right. after a while, we stop buying them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, man, we love Wolverine or whatever, but we're yeah. reading Wolverine's we're... monthly title right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck's writing it or whatever. So, I mean, it just, it happens. Exact same so. thing. Anything that goes that long is yeah. for a long time, it's not going to all be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's funny how similar wrestling and comic books are in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um I just wanted to say real quick, I feel like I didn't say anything about Suicide Squad, but I loved it also. I saw it also. I saw it in theaters uh, before things kind of, we really knew they re-ramped up. Shit. Uh, right. But it was an empty theater pretty much. And then I even did, uh, I recorded an episode, so I watched it twice. Uh, and then I watched parts of it with my sister because she was watching her first watch. And her dad was watching it. I watched a little bit of his first watch. At, <laughs> we were watching it at home on HBO Max. But I, I watched it again in full at home uh, with Joe and Lucky for Now Watch This. But the episode didn't air. Um... For reasons unknown oh, i don't know sure. i have okay. to call out the now watch this guys but uh they're doing a great show they just had a great episode on porkies my pick got drawn from the watch box uh yeah, guys that, you... they're fucking like picture of it it's fucking funny oh man. yeah that's hilarious i, I like how my i like how joe's the girl yeah i like what the and, hell joe and lucky's gonna get get <laughs> yeah. it at porkies <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, guys, we're almost up at that first 30 minute break. So we're going to get right back into the old swing of things. We're going to take a, a break at the 30 minutes. Uh, we're going to read through these comments that have come in. If you guys want to bark at me about wrestling and CM Punk, I'm all there for it. Uh, if you want to know more about, um, now watch this podcast and getting it at Porky's. I'll tell you about that too. Uh, but, uh, in the meantime, we're going to take a quick break guys. Uh, you'll hear a commercial if you're on audio and then we'll be right back. All right, Friday nighters. It's break time. Here we are. Let us have it. Uh, yeah, Rich Rich and Joe were in there talking shit about CM Punk being a whiner and a complainer. Uh, you know, to, everyone, to each their own. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Guys, I have the, the laptop on a lazy season, so I can turn it like this. Look at this. Isn't this fun? That's going to give the YouTubers a headache. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, I'm just yeah. a fan. I like seeing him. It was just but, but, really cool seeing him back. But anyway. will you get back? Will you get into AEW? Will you uh, start watching a weekly show? I don't know. Um, I know. I want to see this pay per view, but I gotta find a way to see it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, not like we we used to do watch parties, guys. We'd get together for what was the last thing we watched together? It was probably uh, the boxing. The okay, Tyson but wrestling wise. Oh, wrestling! It was that last Wrestle AEW. Kingdom. Oh, that last. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Um, I can't even remember what it was <laughs> and even then i don't think there was anything we wanted to see it oh was yeah like... it was the it was the fucking moxley omega the the death match oh god wire. with that yes bogus in yes. we were all laughing yes yeah you know what i mean so it we gave it a shot line. we gave yeah. it a shot but damn we were all like wow what a letdown that shit was so they both have their problems guys any company is but the fact of the matter is there's competition what i liked about xfl is that no, of course it wasn't on the level of NFL, but damn, it would have been neat if there would have been. You uh, know everyone what I mean? thought that kind of what it was going to be, mm -hmm. and instead it turned into this fucking entertainment crap. Right, thing, you know? right. But The Rock supposedly owns it, and supposedly he's going to try to make it a real football thing. So. Yeah, I, I can't wait so. to see what he does with it. And, and who's got more fucking swag right now than that motherfucker there's the no one more powerful than that dude right now mm -hmm. so. and i love that about him too i love that he comes from wrestling i love that yeah. he built himself into that brand and he's that guy now you know what Man. i mean so i'm sure people will want to come work for the rock look at hollywood guys for the longest time hollywood was the only place you could go, go and they say it's fucking full of pedophiles and Ooh. fucking sickos yeah, man. i, I yeah. love that tyler perry's doing that thing in atlanta and he's yeah. got his own studios and you don't have to make movies there no more and deal with those types you can go to canada and make movies georgia's yeah. a huge hub mm -hmm. right of, it is of everywhere, everywhere you see stuff. you see that peach coming mm -hmm. at the end credits mm -hmm. and you're like wow another one in georgia and everyone loves the peach emoji all right we'll leave that one out there <laughs> uh let's see what do we got in the comments here Dylan? uh your mom uh my aunt she says hi uh hi i'm glad you're doing better and back thank you i am doing better and then my tia annie earlier said hey welcome back hi, thank mom, you, hi tia. Daddy. love you uh chris says porkies what an iconic what an iconic movie uh um, yeah Rich says it was a good debate. Certainly, man. And he Always. says he hopes he can succeed in AEW, I wish him the best because he has been out of wrestling in a while. Uh, in the end, it's becoming all entertainment. Old style wrestling is slowly being a thing of the past. Yeah, it is. Uh, For sure. But Rich. you know what? I don't think CM Punk's really going to be doing a lot of that garbage that they do over there. Yeah. Um, he's not going to... You know, CM Punk, what, what always I always liked about him is he was a mat wrestler. Yeah, he was never a high flyer. Right. So he was always mat wrestling, mat wrestling. So I'm um, looking forward. to I it love too. it. Yeah, and, and I'm glad he's not starting off at the top. I'm glad he's starting at Darby. I really am, and I just hope he makes his way. So when that, you know, his feud with Kenny Omega. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man. I, I know that we're thinking Golly. that too. I, I can't yeah. wait either. I mean, even him seeing seeing him fight this version of Cody will be cool. Yeah. There's going to be a lot. There's a, a lot of opportunity for a lot of cool stuff with Punk, I think. And, you know, now they say Adam Cole may go. <sighs> that would be cool. Man, I wonder why he would leave. Well, the wife's over there, right? Yeah, but That's, I mean. It could be reason enough. Get a matching never, schedule. But he's never been one to, like, it seems like he's always been whatever they if he yeah. wants, they, they give it to yeah. him. Yeah, uh, I mean he's learning from Sean. He says that's oh, been a great fucking experience, and they for him. compare them to a lot, Adam Cole and Sean or whatever you know. But at the yeah. same time, yeah. WA2, it's like he's been a long time in NXT. It feels like I'm like they haven't given him that move, and when they give him that move, what's going to happen? Is he going to get buried? You bring back Brock, you know what I mean? Like everyone talked about what happened to that Bianca Blair. She got squashed by which is weird, man. That's they, a terrible. That's move. terrible. That's yeah, a terrible they didn't move. even give her a match. She just 
Becky came, grabbed her, and she tapped out. I was like, wow. They said like 28 seconds yeah. or something. And I'm like, wow, you all you the built, work. They yeah, were building her they up. They built her up so you much. You just know that. I don't know why anyone would ever write a squash match like because, that because, on a character you're building. Because, you know, Vince doesn't hire wrestlers anymore to do the storylines. He hires these fucking people that it's yeah. like all about, you know, boom, boom, boom. You know, it's yeah. like, come on. Yeah. Now it feels like they're trying to copy AEW. In a right. way, which, which looks just like a scramble. It's like do your thing, do what works for you. Yeah, you know and I mean? why build up someone like her for so long and then boom, Becky's back and boom, you're you're yeah. back to shit again. You know, so yeah. I don't know. I guess we can see Adam Page will come <clears throat> back and Hangman will win the belt. <laughs> I thought Christian winning was cool. Man, I was that like, guy, that's cool. That guy is showing what I've been saying all along. He's fucking garbage. <laughs> I don't like Adam Page. I never did. <coughs> um, <coughs> You know, shit jay used to kick his ass all the time jay briscoe <laughs> you know he was bj bj whitmer's water boy wow i don't know if you remember that i don't yeah he was for a long time you know and yeah the, the dude's bland he just doesn't do anything new you know i'm like come on you know i don't know why everyone was high on this guy for so long you know it's one of those things where it's like you get in with the right click and it's like you're one of them or yeah whatever, but everyone you know? was thinking like man this guy's gonna be the 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 number one guy in AEW, and I was like, who the fuck have they been watching? I don't know. This guy is garbage. I feel like he has some decent in-ring ability, but the guy is just, like, he so never, dry. But like... you know what? People always bitch about Roman Reigns never doing anything new. Mm -hmm. This guy never does anything yeah. new. But yet, everyone's always like, oh, Adam Page, Adam Page. Yeah. If you have a couple of crisp moves, that's all it takes. He became an alcoholic cowboy. Like, what the fuck? I was yeah. like, isn't that James Storm's gimmick? I was like... <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but at least James Storm looked cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, Sorry about guy. your damn yeah. luck. This guy just fucking blows. Uh, uh, Rich says, uh, 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 "Welcome back." Yes, welcome da uh, back to William Hall as well. Yes, uh, and he says, uh, "I saw it and it was quite, uh, quick so quick of a match." Yeah, yeah that sucks. Hey, man. Did you I like seen this shirt? I haven't seen it yet. It, so, like the front, it looks like Super Mario Three, but it's oh, his he's face. flying. Yeah. But on the back, it has all the seventeen titles or sixteen titles that he's won. Oh, but that's it's like yeah, it's picture with all the the belts, like oh, the, cool. the actual belts that he's won. No, you know? I hadn't. I, I'm yeah, so like one up. of them has like the the old Brock belt, you know, yeah. the Brock Eddie Guerrero belt. Yeah. Then his spinning belt, then like the other versions of okay. the belt he's had. Yeah. Very so. cool. I did see the front. I forgot because the Young Bucks made fun of it on Twitter. They yeah, were, because they, they had already done yeah. that design, mm -hmm. the Super Mario Three design. Uh, but it's but, you know, whatever. But I'm sorry, you're never gonna be John Cena level. <laughs> mm -mm. And sorry. everyone borrows I'm from sorry. everybody, yeah. so you know it is what it is. Plus, like I said, that guy's the peacemaker now, and he kicks ass. Oh, at that that was cool. I'm I'm so excited about that series that's gonna happen on HBO yeah. Max. Yeah, and can you believe we got excited off that off of that movie? James Gunn did a spectacular job. Man. I mean, I, again, the brutality that he showed in that character of of peacemaker, I was like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> I, I had no problem watching that movie. The other times I watched it, I had no problem watching it with the with Joe and Lucky, even though we were talking through it. I the parts I walked in with my sister, I kind of sat on the bed and watched a little bit. When I was my dad, I sat on the bed and watched a little bit, and I was like, I I'd, I'd watch that movie again tonight if somebody wanted to watch Him it. Him and Idris really just made that movie for me. And yeah. Like I said, I could have done without Harley. I know you disagree. I know mm. Roxanne disagree. I, I, I loved her. Uh, I could have did without her. To, to me, it was already really good, delicious cake, and she was just icing on top. Know, or even then, just, it was know, delicious it was, cake, and she was like ice cream. Like, but I, I thought Flag did a really good job. Whoever, I, I don't know the actor who plays Flag. I forget his name, and too. Idris and John Cena. I thought those guys were just Yeah, no. Even the chick, uh, Rat Catcher, too. Yes, she, she was, was really awesome great. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And I love Taika's uh, cameo. Uh, I love <laughs> yeah. him, period. He's, yeah. He is. He, he won my heart after Jojo if, Rabbit. So. If, you, if you guys have seen Free Guy, he's a fucking douchebag in that movie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if any of you have seen Free Guy. Now that I know he's in that, I'll watch him to he's see him be a fucking douchebag, douchebag in that. man. Yeah. He's a fucking asshole. Taika Waititi, man, is, is, yeah, he's is everything. Funny. He's funny, but he's a fucking douchebag in that movie. So you caught that one. You uh, ordered it from the home? No, it was only at theaters. I saw oh, the okay. Theater. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. It was funny. I, I love it Ryan funny. Reynolds. I it love Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see, Rich, what else is Rich saying here? He says, uh, yeah, SummerSlam wasn't too bad at all. That match was too quick. Yeah, uh, I heard a lot of bad things about SummerSlam, Rich. So if there was any other uh, high points that you thought were good, well, let I know us Charlotte know. Charlotte won. Mm -hmm. I know Brock came out at the end. I know Brock. I saw that. That was like, they like showed that right away because uh, that was supposed to be like the, I guess the, the answer to CM Punk. What was cool is that, man, it was packed. 
It was a packed okay. house at SummerSlam. That's I don't, cool. I don't know if you saw the arena. It was mm-hmm. huge, and it was like 50,000 people. Where were they at? I forget. Yeah. But uh, even the entrance looked fucking long. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, That's wow. good. I mean, good for them. I, I wish everyone their successes. You know what I mean? Even Vince and even those guys, because it's just more opportunity for there to be more you know good what? wrestling. Yeah, exactly. Just, you know, it's wrestling. But we it's got to be good. It's got to be good, though. I, I Like, okay, AEW did this thing with Punk. I'm interested to start watching again. I want to watch CM Punk. I want WWE to give me something that I want to watch. Like, like I don't even know where some of my guys are. Like, Steen, Nakamura. Like, I know they're there, but, like, there's nothing going on. Like, it's just, like, I feel like I'm just looking at, like, a koi pond and, like, my favorites are just swimming well, by over you know, and over honestly, again. But that thing's really happening. Honestly, it seemed, it seemed like this event specifically seemed to be built around the Cena Roman Reigns match. So Okay. Uh, okay. It was pretty even cool. Cena coming back, was it? Yeah. But still, it's pretty cool that it was actually focused like on this one match. Okay. Because supposedly Sasha Banks was supposed to go up against Bianca. Mm. And something happened, and then they said Carmella was supposed to. Okay. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, they introduced Becky. And I was like, oh. Okay. Did, uh, oh, Cena lost, right? He lost her, right? Yeah, he lost. But yeah. still, it seemed like this was like, actually like two big guys okay. going at it. Okay, you know, I, I, the I get event, that. You know, I get so. that. Um... Oh, Rich says it was 51,000 people in Las Vegas. Oh, nice. Okay. And Rich says... Oh, Rich says, I need to check out that movie. Oh, Oh, you haven't seen Suicide Squad yet? Yeah, definitely go watch it, Rich. Really, really good movie. Um, Let's see who else here. Oh, Nene in the house. Twerk for one minute straight, and I'll share this live. Nene, if I try to twerk for even 36 seconds, my back will go out, my hips will go out. It would be bad news, brother. But I appreciate you being here, man, to say hello. And Nene, congrats on hitting 800K followers on TikTok. Not only that, but I saw there was an article. I think it was the current mm-hmm. or some San Antonio newspaper. And it said eight TikTokers to watch out for. And they put him in there. Very nice. Did you know yeah. that, Nene? You're on the eight, the the list to watch of TikTokers here in San Antonio, brother. Yeah, so was, super proud crazy. of you, man. It was some man. San Antonio article. Um, yeah. yeah, it was on Instagram. I actually invited Nene to come on our our uh, anniversary episode when I had all the guests on, but he was he was too busy, he couldn't come on or whatever. But uh, maybe another time, Nene, you can jump on with us virtually and, and say a hi and hello, or maybe Angel could come out say a hi and hello. Uh, I like talking to you better than I like talking to Angel though. Angel, Angel be too rude, you know, want want me to catch them hands. So, uh, but man, huge congrats on your success, bro. Keep it going, man. I love what you and Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Are doing uh, those videos where Jerry dresses as his uh, as his uh, Mexican dad, or super hilarious man. He wears a wig and he's like, they're twisties. Oh yeah, uh, he wears a wig and uh, and he's got like the open taco meat shirt out. It looks it's, it's really good shit, really funny. Uh, I know Rich enjoys uh, Nene's comedy for sure. Uh, Rich says uh, Edge and Seth Rollins match was good, and Cena and Reigns was a good match too. Okay, cool. I'll go look for those and check those out. Um, no doubt. Uh, guys, I'm going to get us back into the recording. I want to still say some more things before we get right into the meat and potatoes of the, of the, uh, as I like to, used to like to say, <laughs> of the, um, thing, because I did a couple of other things, and I'll mention those, but when we're actually recording. So, uh, let me bring us back in here. Are you ready, Double A? Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for sitting to that quick break. We talked a lot during our break, read a lot of comments here. Uh, <laughs> we think we got Nene here, uh, of TikTok fame, guys. <clears throat> also, we got, uh, we're still talking with Rich and Rizzo as well. Uh, Rich says, yes, Nene is funny and as what he does. Yes, definitely. And again, 800K yeah. TikTok followers is nothing yeah. to scoff at, man. You're getting, you're getting real close to that million, brother. So, um, Again, all the uh, wish all the success and love love to you for sure, guys. We unveiled our new season four shirt, the Just Another Friday Night uh, homage to Just Another Saturday Night, uh, the comic book uh, from uh, Chris oh, Rizzo really? at Invincible uh, Comics and more. Uh, guys, again, go check out that group. Uh, also, a couple of things I wanted to mention was that um, I was on a podcast this week, guys. Uh, I guested on Collecting Weekly, the After Dark show. They do about five shows. They have a show on every day of the week. They have uh, different hosts do different uh, things on different shows, but they mainly really focus on figures. Um, really cool story. The uh, kind of the man behind the magic, uh, Zach. I uh, bought a figure from him off of a toy group or whatever, and didn't know that he had a podcast. I'd seen Collecting Weekly, but I didn't know that it was it was him or whatever. So we met over at Gravity Damage Comics, got the figure, and then ended up both being in the shop together and. Thanked him or whatever. Great Nightwing figure. I love that figure. Oh, nice. uh, it's on my desk uh, at home. And then he was like, messaged me one off. I was like, hey, man, is this your podcast? I was like, yeah, that's me. And then he was like, I said, you have a podcast? And he was <laughs> like, yeah, I'm the Collecting Weekly guy. I was like, oh, shit. 
And then just recently, he asked me to be on just this past Wednesday, and I was on. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, their <laughs> After Dark show is a really free form, and they just bullshit and talk. Um, and uh, it, it's, I won't say nonsensical. We talked a lot about bidets and shitting. And, and um, Zach, they have like a, a thousand plus followers, 1.2K followers, I think. He did a great thing. He put our, our name on the bottom and was giving us shout outs and, and wanted to get us to 100 subscribers on YouTube. And he said that if it happens, we get to 100 subscribers, that they'll give away a free bidet. That's what he said. I don't know if that was tongue in cheek or bullshit, tongue in ass cheek. <laughs> but uh, guys, if you go subscribe to our YouTube and let the Collecting Weekly guys know, you might get a free bidet. So that's something. Um, I also guess on another podcast, I didn't do a write-up for them on their banner yet because that episode is not out yet. I'm going to wait till I hear uh, on that, and then I'll let you guys know about my guest uh, shot on that one. That was somebody bowed out. I got called and asked to be on. I was sitting at home and said, yeah, I'm happy to help out. I love the show. I love the guy. Uh, so, uh, But I'm going to wait to tell you about that, and I'll throw their name up too when that comes out. But be on the lookout for the Collecting Weekly After Dark one. That's already out. They, air, they go live on YouTube. Uh, I don't know if anybody can get access to it, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Those are great guys. Um, and uh, I think that was it. That's all that I wanted to say about that, uh, Double A. Uh, what else? Oh, Rizzo says the Ox Father. Yes, Zach, the Ox Father. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has like a name on there. And I haven't met everybody yet, so I didn't know everybody's name. Luckily, I do my research and I watched a few episodes so I could learn some names. Uh, Nene says, put Angel on your show. Uh, Angel is too wild. Uh, I don't know that that I could fit Angel. Angel would have been great for our episode we had where people had jumped on virtually. Uh, but let's try to work something out. Nene, uh, I know you're uh, Angel's representative, so uh, let's figure it out. Maybe uh, he could pop on for uh, the beginning 30 minutes of our show and, and uh, say a few things, uh, hopefully nice things. Uh, normally it could be kind of rude, I think, but you know what I mean? It's, it's up to you, you know what I mean? Um, but... Uh, <laughs> Riz also says, I like the After Dark show. Lots of fun. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun being on there. Those guys are a riot. Uh, they have a guy named Dean on the show, uh, Double A, that his voice, it sounds exactly like your cousin Phil. Like, <laughs> when I hear him talking, it's like, oh, what's up, guys? I'm like, oh, shit, it sounds like Phil. And he's hilarious, too. So lots of fun. Thank you guys for having me on again. Zach at the Collective Weekly uh, Gents. Uh, but without further ado, Double A, should we just get right into it? Yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's do it, guys. I need to dip my feet back in. Okay, here we go. And everyone been missing the knowledge here that I lack <laughs> when Double A is in the house. So, uh, guys, you might have read the intro. We might have read the bio and know a little bit about what we're going to talk about. But um, this is something that's been debated over and over again. People always have something that they want to say about it there was even again like i said in the in the write-up comic books in the 90s they did specifically geared towards it but it was voted for yeah the main the five <clears throat> five main matches were voted on by fans and either way the whole thing ended in like a draw or whatever but guys uh, when it comes to comic book companies like we mentioned earlier that there's the tops right there's the nfl there's the nba there's the wwe but the cool thing is with comic books, there's two. And the fun thing about having two at the top, which is what these other places should realize, is that it creates competition and mm -hmm. it creates conversation and it creates fan fiction and fan fighting and fan, in, in a good way, not not in the internet fucking shitting on people, but you know, in, in a de good debating <laughs> way, like me and Rich did earlier, about who is better, who is the best of the best. So tonight we're talking the super clash, the the icon versus icon in is it going to be DC versus Marvel, Marvel versus DC? <laughs> Who do we match up? Who do we put together in fights? Well, we saw what they did when they did it before, and they've done they've done this lots of times. They had Superman and Spider Man in the comic book together, which is weird. That's I'm like, come on now. Yeah, why? Because those are their two top guys. And then they did Batman and Hulk. Again, another wonky one, but they put them together because those were probably the other two top guys at the time. You know what I mean? Then we've also had um, the Justice League versus the Avengers. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we've, had, yeah, we've had Superman, Silver, 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 Crossover at Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer um, Green Lantern. Silver Surfer and Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. yep. That was one of the main matchups in the DC versus Marvel. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. one of them. So I think I had that Superman Silver Surfer book. I forgot about that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, 
And then, of course, the famous one that everyone recognized was just called... Actually, two issues were DC versus Marvel, and then two issues were Marvel versus DC. Yeah, yeah. But it was a four-parter. Dan Jurgens, I think, did the art. It was a few people, yeah, yeah. And it was like the long-haired Superman, and it was like yeah. the smart Hulk, which everyone says is a the less weaker, powerful the Hulk. weaker Hulk. He sacrifices, I guess, strength for the smart. Yeah, because it's like uh, they even show like in uh, Endgame, uh, you know, him being smart. He's like not ragey you know right where the hoax like pissed off and he's like throwing cars and yeah banners like more like oh, dude. yeah you know? so yeah you're not going to get that same hoax but but you know? is, isn't with with i would imagine with smarts with intelligence no, comes because a, a he's better angry, ability you know okay okay um but yeah so in that old series they put it also it's not peter parker Spider-Man, it's ben riley spider-man oh shit Spider I, didn't, I don't even think i knew mm -hmm. that okay yeah. wow yeah. Uh, I I actually watched some videos about that series specifically on wow. YouTube where guys go into it or whatever, and there were some cool things they picked out that I was. It was neat for me to revisit the imagery because I was like, oh, there's some cool images. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. excuse me, uh, it shows like the bugle. Ben Riley ends up at the at the uh, at the Daily Planet. He's taking pictures or whatever, and he hits on Lois Lane or whatever, and like Clark shows up in the background, yeah. and he's like, of course, all huge. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's the reason why Double A is wearing the Wolverine shirt. Um, Arguably my favorite Marvel character, and I'm wearing my Superman shirt, the Kingdom Come with that ass shirt. <laughs> Thank that you very much. Shirt. Thank you very much, Dolly. I mean, you can see how much I love it. I have that fucking comic right there. Oh yeah. I yeah, mean, I'm looking that. at Superman. Who does this? The art on this one is beautiful. That I love, I love that picture. Doug Hazelwood. Know. Yeah, that's a great Superman picture right there. Yeah. Iconic. But yeah. uh, if you go, guys, go in my room or at my house. It's like I've got an equal amount. And just recently, uh -huh. I've been getting really showing a lot of love to my my uh, my love for Nightwing and the Titans, or whatever. But Dolly, what do you think about that? Those old matchups, those old fights. Well, like there are some really interesting ones. First off, though, I don't, I didn't like the Robin versus Jubilee. No, I thought that was stupid. Terrible. Um, the Captain America Batman, I really, really hated. I hated the outcome of that one. Although um, they pitted them against each other in that Justice League Avengers one as well, and they think they fought to a stalemate in that one as see, well. That, that shouldn't even happen. I'm I agree. Sorry, People forget about happen. Super Soldier Serum. And yeah. With that comes Super Speed. And... Yeah, and it showed too because like Cap takes care of Bane real quick oh, in yeah. that series. He beats the shit out of Bane. Yeah. You know, like with no problem, where it takes Batman a whole lot of effort. Mm -hmm. So I was always pissed off about that one. Another mismatch, which I thought was weird, was that they had Storm go up against Wonder Woman. And Storm Winnie, which yeah. I was like, wow, really? Like, okay, first off, you didn't even put the right one in mm -mm. against Wonder Woman. Then you have her beat. That's Wonder a terrible Woman. one, and it's a terrible win. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, I was, love Storm. Obviously, very powerful. Obviously, it seems she's got a lot more swag when she, she was. Has, is, but, she, is she still married to T'Challa? Uh, I don't even thing? know, man. I don't. know. They were kind of making her the Queen of Wakanda, which I thought was a cool was, way was to go cool because yeah. she was African too. You know, she was yeah. from Africa, so. and he never really had like a, a woman woman. So no, that's and like, that was awesome. Damn, what too. better, bro? Yeah. Like, wait a, yeah. you know, she fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I love that, but but her against Wonder Woman is like a no no. Like that one too is like Lobo and Wolverine. I'm like, because I saw Lobo from like the Superman series. So him going to one-on-one -on -one against Superman, I was like, what? How did Wolverine beat him? You know, that was weird. That was a really bad mismatch. I, I won't say I liked it. I liked that Wolverine I, won. I liked that Wolverine one too, but I was like, man, Lobo, because, you know, again, they're showing him Against going Superman. against Superman. Yeah. So um, in my in my experience with Lobo at that time when he was kind of out and about, and from what I understand, the whole reason for his creation was he was supposed to be like that answer to Wolverine or whatever, the cigar smoking, the sure, scruffy, sure. the the potty and mouth. And he kind of looks I mean? like that in his first appearance. He yeah. He does kind of look like that. Motorcycle yeah. riding, whatever. But right, if you're matching him up with Superman, it's kind of like, okay. Now, although I will say we have seen Wolverine fight the Hulk. Now, not successfully, but... You know, to hang in there. Is but at least something. he always loses, though. Lobo beat Superman? No, no, no. Oh. I'm talking about Wolverine. <laughs> oh, like, right, right, right. He loses yeah. to Hulk all the well, time. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. The same thing with Lobo. He loses sure, to Sure, Wolverine to... can take a beating. He heals. Mm -hmm. He has adamantium skeleton. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's going to take some pounding. Yeah. But, you know, at the end, it's Hulk's always winning, though. You know? Right. So, right. I, I mean, I just thought that was a bad mismatch. Uh, that shouldn't, that fight should never have happened. So, um, so we kind of wanted to go back and we're like, okay, well, you know what? They didn't put everybody in. So, so I asked him, I was like, what are some battles that you would have liked to have seen, you know, or, or, you know, so we kind of drew up a list and, 
you know, we kind of picked the what we thought might be interesting, especially now since the comic, the movies have made these characters right. uber popular. Yeah, like we had Black Panther in this mix, and he was never even a thought in no. that whole DC versus Marvel. Hey guys, and and then one of the videos I watch on YouTube when it comes to DC versus Marvel, they even mention there wasn't uh there wasn't a lot of a lot of mention of Iron Man in those comics. He doesn't have a fight. He was a really secondary, he arbitrary was. character, guys. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. and and Marvel Studios made Iron Man, who he is. <laughs> 2000, what, 8, 2008? Yeah, 2008. Before that, when this came out in the 90s, it was like, we're not putting Iron, Iron Man Man's in a, in a big Iron Man's big thing fight. was he was a big three of the Avengers. Like, if anything went down, you can always count on Thor, Cap, and Iron Man. There are many variations of the Avengers, it. but those three are always So that was like core. what kept Iron Man... Like at a high level, was yeah. that he was part of that big three. Yeah, they're know, the so. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley yeah. of the Avengers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but um, okay, uh, you want to go from the bottom up? Yeah, let's go to the bottom. Let's start with now, the, the opening rounds. Uh, okay, <laughs> now first of all, we didn't give Wolverine a match. Well, I have one. Okay, now, okay, okay. And I think you did like it. Okay, I let, think you said you liked that match. Let's up. do that one first then. Okay, so this one I had Wolverine. Versus Bane. Oh, I do love that fight. Which yeah. I thought was like, okay, that could actually be an equal matchup. <clears throat> I see it. I can see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with Wolverine, okay. we got a guy who has adamantium he, uh, skeleton, mm -hmm. claws, healing factor. With Bane, we got a really fucking guy that's juiced up on Venom. Yeah. But he's also a badass fighter. Uh, tactician, mm -hmm. you know, strategist, strategist. I think in the comics he's like a general, right, of his country like or whatever. That. And he's tall. He's about what six 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 seven maybe. Yeah. Wolverine's five three. Mm -hmm. You know, so but Wolverine's a bulky five three five five. Guy. Yeah. And Wolverine's gotten there with Juggernaut. Yes, now would you, would you say Juggernaut and Lobo could mix it? Yes. Up? You know what? That's actually better. Okay. That would have been a better match instead of Superman knocking out Juggernaut. <laughs> In that opening, yeah. remember when Juggernaut crosses over mm -hmm. and, and Superman just fucking boom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot about that that scene in that book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do you see this going down? Double okay, so Bane Wolverine. obviously when he's okay. really pumped up, Bane is fucking strong all the way. Turned okay, down. he's fucking strong. Mm -hmm. He he manhandles Batman like crazy. Mm -hmm. Broke his back. He, we all know Nightfall. You know, manhandle him, beat the shit out of him. Oh. That was the end. That's of, a great. Code. Yeah, you own those books? Yes, I do. Ah, that was the end of the Batman. But now we're talking about Wolverine. We're talking about a guy that's just as skilled as Batman, mm -hmm. but can take more punishment, and is probably a little bit stronger than Batman. I would Batman think is. so. Yeah. So, I would think just walking around with that adamantium skeleton makes you super stronger. heavy. And yeah, stronger. and heavy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be like. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, me and Double A were talking off air about so the the old animated Superman series, and he had me. He sent me some episodes during his quarantine. You know, he was binging TV. What are you gonna do? Right, you can't go anywhere and you do anything. And he was like, "Check out these episodes." So I was like, "All right." You know, y'all know I like to watch stuff on my lunch, and I I had just got through watching some of the animated Batman, mm -hmm. and I watched the Ninja episodes, which I love. Uh, but Double A gave me like six, five yeah, episodes. Yeah, there's a great one called uh, Night. Night Tale? Yes. Night Tale, yes, I right? I love that one. I, that one was so fun. It was, I was like, great, this right? Is so fun. Yeah. Now, this is from the Superman animated series, and this is all on HBO Max. But, uh, yeah, essentially, at one point, uh, Superman is dressed as Batman, and he has to go up against Bane. So, Bane starts to beat him up, and, you know, but Superman is kind of just going with it, right? And then he's like, man, I'm disappointed. Like, Batman, we met again. I thought, was, And he's got some new Venom, right? There's more making more g stuff or whatever. And he like buries him under all these yeah, stones. He punches him. Yeah, and he throws his stone, and you're, everyone's like, "Oh shit!" Well, that's it. Batman's dead. <laughs> and then Superman just like fucking pops it up. You know, throws it up with his legs. He's fucking pissed, and he just beats the shit out of Bane. Three punches, and Bane's dead. Yeah, he's, I love Mad Hatter's. Like that's impossible. Yeah, like, like Robin's there. He gets trapped, but he's aware of what that what's going on. So he's like, "Whoa." He's not done. Like, he's just getting He, he fucking kills Bane. Like, what you should expect. Yeah. That's going to be really lopsided. And that's it. A lot of times, a lot of times, though, they, they don't flex these guys like full set of powers. Like, Superman's just using his strength. He's not flexing hard speed if he really wanted to. Like, this is the guy that can cross the galaxy. So if he wants to just whip your ass in three punches real quick, it's like, you won't even know that it happened. You'll just be asleep. Like, Okay, so let's fight. Bane, turned up all the way. Does Wolverine go savage? Does he get beaten up so much that he goes savage mode on Bane? I think so. 
I think okay. so. And I think eventually you've got the wires for the venom around and you've got adamantium claws out. At some point, that's going to get in some way or form. Uh, and Is it a fist fight first? You go fist fight first? Is it him, saber tooth kind of level fighting? Or do you think Bane kind of wins the opening rounds? Kind of abuses him? Kind of breaks him, you know... Here and there, maybe. I, I see him. them. I see them kind of brawling at first because Wolverine's so offensive. He gets right in there. He's he gonna, does. I think he wants to maybe take you out quick, and then that's it. But if he can't, then you know he has. He can go into deep water. Yeah. Right. So I think that this does go into the deep water. Now, remind you, Wolverine is trained in so many forms of, you know, fighting. Mm -hmm. He's the Canadian Secret Service. He studied in Japan. He knows samurai. He knows ninjas. Mm -hmm. He can fight. You We've know. seen him put the claws away and fight. He's and an he's extremely fast. skilled fighter. For him to have the skeleton, he is super fast. Yeah. So not to mention the healing. If you're not doing an, enough damage to hurt him, if you can't hurt him faster than he can heal, you're not doing anything. So it's just like a and fresh. Bane's not fast. So I think after a while, Wolverine's just going to be too cutting for him. Mm -hmm. It's going to be too fast for mm -hmm. him. And I think it's like you said. I think he's going to cut the venom. Yeah. And Bane will just go back to. Yeah, his regular form. So I agree. In that one, I, I think this is a better matchup than him and Lobo, and I like Bane a lot. But I say I have to go with Wolverine on this one. Yeah, and Bane is definitely a badass. Do not take anything away from Bane. Yeah. Much better than like. It, Trust I, me, well, this the, is one guy that always gives Batman a hard time. Yeah, the always. Nolan one is like a closest to a yes. good version. I wish wish they would have got like a really big guy that was also athletic and can move real good. Not that Tom Hardy wasn't great because he was, but the way that you see Batman get beat up in that first fight, where you're like. This is not good. And then he kind of starts getting beat up in that second fight, and you're like, you're getting fucked. Like, Batman's yeah. getting He's fucked up. He's breaking Batman even with his armor on. We'd never seen Batman get beat like that in the movie. We were like, holy shit. You know what I mean? Like, now imagine. When he's punching him. Oh, his, yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. The mask, the he mask tosses breaks. it. Yeah. And he's just, you're like, you feel for Batman in that. You're like, fuck. Now imagine seeing that versus. Imagine that, that versus like X two Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, boy, man. you in for that's going to be a treat yeah. right there. Like, I would love to see that. In the end, I give it to Wolverine, but I do think that he will. It's gonna, he's going to fuck up Wolverine as much as he can, yeah. you know, before the healing factor takes over. I, I say it's one of those things where Wolverine would leave with respect for Bane, and be I like, think this so was too. a formidable yeah. opponent. So good one. But, so let's let's mark it. Double like, give it. Let's give it one. For our guy again, the, he is the uh, he is the the official hero of the Just Another Friday Night podcast. Wolverine. We've been accused of being a DC show, yet our fa as a show together as a show, our favorite hero is Wolverine, and our favorite villain is Magneto. So that's kind of tough to call it a DC show, but yeah, individually, I'm a Superman guy. Double A is a Wolverine guy, you know, but. Right. Wolverine's right up there in my top five favorite superheroes of, of all time, uh, no doubt. Uh, okay, so I mentioned Magneto. So does that move us right into our next yes, one? Yes, it does. So now, I love this. You, you, These two you wrote up, and I, and I was like, I, I like the, the, the Bane Wolverine and this one. I was like, dang, good pull, Double A, but I might need your help on understanding more about who we got Magneto matched up okay, against. Okay, so our next round would be Sinestro versus Magneto. Now, Sinestro is pretty much like Green Lantern, almost. Okay. okay it's just the willpower. The ring, right. The ring, but with his willpower. Okay. Now, we know Magneto, full of willpower himself. Mm -hmm. Would he be strong enough to break out of those constructs? And what kind of damage could he do to Sinestro? So... The Green Lanterns, I would always say, based on, like, the Marvel cards, I would say are always, like, about sixes. Okay. I would say. Okay. Okay. So, I would say Sinestro will be right there. Yeah. Now, what, what yeah. I always... Uh, and what I do know of Sinestro that I like is that here's a guy that has that ring, but he knows what he's doing. He with knows it. how to use he it. He ain't just making big fists and big tanks and shit. Sinestro is extremely smart, extremely cunning, and... Um, and doesn't mind killing. And doesn't mind killing, yeah. Just like Magneto. He got some... Wow, there's a lot of edge to this guy. Um, now, but I don't know about him as is like... A physical fighter is there it, he's it, gone one-on-one oh, -on -one with how quite a few times okay okay and them two have always just beat the shit out of each other okay so he's always. not afraid to mix it up hand he's to not hand afraid to mix it he's up. an alien correct yes okay yes, yeah he is so magneto and a would be dictator <clears throat> oh, man, there you so, go there, see so there's a lot of things that line up so, now people forget about though that magneto is one of those omega class mutants 
His power is on another level. He can ride magnetic waves. So there's things that come into play. Like where are they fighting at? Are they fighting on Earth? Are they mm. fighting? You know what I mean? Like they're. But but again, we need to think about it in the sense of like. Well, I let's say know, we just know. always put it on Earth. Yeah, okay. Put it on because Earth. DC versus Marvel, that was always here on Earth. All right, here on Earth. Yeah, you got to kind of choose that common ground or whatever. So you know, uh, but again, I think magnetic waves exist everywhere. I everywhere. don't know what type of. Uh, DNA is inside of Sinestro or whatever, I but he say, can literally draw the iron out of your blood. I was going to say, if, if any of you have ever seen the X-Men, uh, the Apocalypse one, mm -hmm. um, I know that's not a very favorite movie of everyone, but yeah. there is a part where uh, Apocalypse tells him to reach down and to feel the Earth's magnetic. Right. And he does. And man, he's like pretty much shaking the Earth. He destroys Auschwitz in that one scene. Yeah. Real easy. Yeah. But Apocalypse that, like, that's a, There's some badass stuff in that movie feeling, or whatever. Feel the Earth. Earth. He's yeah. like, this whole fucking planet can be yours. Right. Because it's all magnetic. And mm -hmm. man, when he unleashes Magneto, he was like, oh shit. Yeah. You know, and we've seen Magneto when he gets pissed off too. Magneto and... does not mind killing at all uh, either. He's a bad motherfucker. Especially if he finds out Sinestro is like a dictator too. Mm -hmm. That brought people, his own people, down to his will. Yeah. Now the thing is, I think that Sinestro has in his advantage is that with that ring, what he's making, the constructs, they're not an earthly material. It's not no, like it's not, metal. It's, no. not, it's not that Magneto no. can manipulate that. So no, he can't. I see so him. That's, see, that's the problem right there. Yeah. Right off the bat. Yeah. Okay, I, so if he starts squeezing him, but can Magneto do something with the magnetics? With his body, maybe, like Put him to sleep. We've even seen Magneto do that, where he we just have makes seen you go him do to sleep. Yeah. He drains the iron out of you and makes you weak, and you go to sleep. So that's a, that's a tough one, man. It really, is. I don't know enough about Sinestro to say. Um, now, see, the only thing is though is I've only really seen Sinestro go one on one with Lantern. I've never really seen him go one on one with Martian Manhunter. Mm. I've never seen him go one on one with Wonder Woman. And I certainly as hell have never seen him go one on one against Superman. Superman. Yeah, that's tough. So, and you know, I kind of feel like a way to think about that sometimes is is to think like maybe these guys avoid certain guys for a reason. You know what I mean? Batman's villains even kind of say it in that one cartoon. They're like, "Oh, we're we're running a muck in Gotham, but we're like, we don't, we ain't gonna go to Metropolis. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's fucking stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like they're 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 bad guys, but they ain't dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so. <clears throat> I don't know, Double A. I don't know who to give it to. I'm going to tell you that I'm leaning towards Magneto, but I'm biased. And, and see, I'm <laughs> going to say Magneto, too, because I think his will is just so much stronger than Sinestro. And I think with the Earth, the magnetic field, I think he would be able to overcome Sinestro, honestly. You, you know what I'll say? I mean, my deciding factor in that, I love your answer. Magneto's willing to die to win. Sinestro doesn't want to die because no. he, he wants to be a despot. So... Magneto is like, no, now I'm pissed off enough that I want to defeat you, even at the cost of myself. Yeah. And that is the one edge over, I yeah. think, that. So So I, I, it's hard, but I would have to pick Magneto on this one. But so, I love that matchup. I would love to see what fans I would like say. to see we that should, one, We too. should do a poll in the Friday Night Faithful. We I honestly would like to see that crossover. I think that's a great match, and I bet a lot of people hadn't thought of that. There, there were so many uh, matchups that Double A came up with that I thought were just interesting matchups. I was like, "Oh shit, that's a good Do one." We have I never enough time for this uh, third one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, uh, okay. let's read some comments in this last couple of seconds because when comments came in, hopefully you guys are talking about this topic. Oh shit! Okay, uh, we, got some, we'll uh, see, we got some fights. We'll okay. see here. Uh, oh, so. Carmen. Uh, oh, uh, Carmen Mantia says, Angel is dangerous. Catch them hands. Yes, he indeed he is, Carmen. <laughs> we cannot compare with Angel on here, so we're we're not sure if we want someone that dangerous on the show, <laughs> Carmen, but thank you for coming in and saying so. Uh, Rich says, I'm ready for another debate. Let's do it, Rich. Here we go. Uh, Batman versus Spider-Man. Okay, let, let's write that one down. Only double A because maybe we can bring that up. Talk about. I, I like interesting matchup, Rich. Interesting matchup. Um we got some time to wait a little bit, a few minutes here. What do you say about that? Spider Man. You, yeah, Spider Man all the way. So, on that, Rich, and the that's reason just why. His speed and strength. Yeah, the, the proportionate strength of a spider. A spider Man can lift a car up over his head. Batman can't do that. And Spider Sense. So, Batman's very quick, and he's the most probably agile and athletic man. But Spider Man is a man, but he's and, got the strength mm, and speed of a spider. Well, they show Spider Man at speed, mm -hmm. too, and mm -hmm. he's fucking fast. Yeah, so imagine him. Being able to telegraph every punch that Batman's going to throw, move around, hop around. Think of, uh, like, Spider-Man. That's actually good. When him and Flash. When Flash is throwing that punch and you see Toby where he's like... Yeah. Huh. Yeah. When he's fighting yeah. Yeah, in the in the movie, he's fighting with Flash in uh, the first Spider-Man. Yeah. The first Sam Raimi yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be 
that's going to be tough for Batman to deal with or whatever. So, um, no, that's that's a Spider-Man win in my opinion. I would never put that match up together. But I like I like where your head's at, Rich. Like where your head's at. Now this one though, the is War versus great. Black Adam. Who? That one, Dogie. I think we might need more time on that one. Yeah, double on that A, one, yes. double A, go deep yes, on that on one. That one well, let's yes. come back to that one. Yeah. Let's come back to. Uh, Rich says that is a badass shirt. I like Superman Love too. Love it. Thank Love you so it. much. Uh, Steve says we're gonna come back to your Thor Black Adam, Rich. I like that. <laughs> Uh, Steve says, Hanna Barbera rules. I love Space Ghost. Uh, dude, I, I love, uh, love Space Ghost. Uh, Captain Caveman. Yeah. Uh, Huckleberry Hound. Was Steve. It Thunder, right? Not, uh, Thunder. Yeah, Thunder, yeah. I think, too. Nothing wrong with Hanna Barbera, Steve. We love that, man. I love the Fred Flintstone. Come on now. Um, Rich says, uh, Yes, that would be a good fight. Uh, he says, uh, I say, uh, Oh, shit. Uh, go ahead. I'm not double. He goes, I say fist first. Then it's Wolverine going savage and just destroys Bane. Yeah, I like your. I and like he, it. He liked that matchup. Exactly um, what we said. Mm -hmm. And then he says uh, he thinks Magneto wins. Yeah, that one. Yeah, look into Sinestro though, man. He's interesting. Yes. He Rizzo says yeah. BRB Riz. I'd like to hear your thoughts on some of these fights for sure. But yes, I know you're visiting with family. Uh, and then Rich says. Uh, I was leaning towards uh, Spider-Man as well. And that's where I go. Uh, because the yeah. speed and straight. Yeah. If, if it was a straight-up fight, it'd say Spider-Man didn't have his powers, uh, Batman. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. Even after all the experience that right. Peter has. I, I like to give them the, some type of years of experience as well. Like Batman, I, I'm not going to say there's like a whole lot of people that will beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Like we actually had like a Batman versus Daredevil. Uh -huh. But that's just what, too one-sided. That's like a Oscar De La Hoya versus like a... Who would be like a good boxer, but wasn't, but isn't like De La Hoya's like level, you know? It, it'd be like something like that, like De La Hoya versus like a, a, a Gotti. Okay. You, know, you remember when they fought De La Hoya just like outclass right. Gotti bad. Yeah. Um, you know, and I and I love Daredevil. I'm a biggest Daredevil fan you yeah. can get, but and uh, he is really badass. I but mean, one like, on one, I wouldn't say a lot of people can kick Batman's ass. It's it's hard. Um, I've always said that if Superman lost his power. Uh, Batman would kick his ass bad. <laughs> when it comes Real to the bad. when it comes to the Cap thing, if Cap was depowered, no super soldier serum, it when they That'd everyone always has it as a draw. That would be closer. It would be closer, but I edge out Cap just a little bit. But it would be much closer. But with super soldier serum, it's not a match. This, yeah, that's not, not a good match. match. Now you match. gotta think about the Frank Castle Punisher too. I saw somebody put this up recently. There's like I some... did too, but then I, and I put that match up too. But then I saw they actually already did that. Yeah, and I think I saw one, this, and, and they had it very one, one sided with very Batman. Very one sided. I was like, "Wow!" I disagree. That, that and the, I did. He goes, I, totally I let you have that one, Castle, and then yeah. he tries again. And I was like, "I'm, you know, I told you I was just letting you have that the, one." The, I was like, "Wow!" You, you need to think about the Punisher. You got to be thinking about like the Garth Ennis Punisher. This is the the military strategist, the lieutenant from Vietnam. Really, you telling me that that Batman's gonna just get up on that guy like that? I don't think so. Here's the other thing: Frank Castle has that same thing that Magneto has. He does not care about dying. Um, I would say maybe Batman does care about that. Do, does yeah, he does. He he, he, he does. does yeah, yeah. He, he does. He was trying to continue his wages war on on crime or whatever. Frank Castle doesn't give a fuck if he's gonna die or whatever. And he's extremely smart. And he's a military guy in the Marines, special services, all that shit. I mean, like not to mention all his years as the fucking Punisher. So it's like and the use of deadly force. I mean, it's like. He is him and Barracuda is some of the greatest shit. You know what I mean? If you had never seen the Red the Punisher versus Barracuda, <laughs> yeah. there's a big fucking badass guy that it was like, you know, giving Castle a hard time or whatever. Um, and I would see that guy giving fucking Barracuda giving Batman a hard time. So there's a lot more to that than just fucking, oh, that's all you're gonna get. Uh but guys, we're right at the next thirty minute break, so we'll get right back into the comments and then we'll be right back. Ooh, man, I'm on my cues today because I fucking <laughs> suck these last two weeks. I wasn't getting none of those. Uh, get some comments in for me. Uh, it's all the way about it. Rich uh, puts uh, Sinestro versus Thanos. And this is just regular Thanos, okay? See, this is, see people always think about Thanos. They think about him with the gauntlet. Yeah, see, and, I always say, he's not, wait, regular or not? Yeah. Because regular, I don't he, even know. He's what, a seven. He, yeah, but, he's, he's strong. But he's not dangerous like, like on that fucking gauntlet level. Is yeah. there? Can he like shoot blasts and yeah, shit? He can. He can still okay. do all that. Okay, because yeah. he's fought the Silver Surfer quite a few times. Whatever. That's and what I, I'm saying. I always give yeah. it to Surfer. That now with the gauntlet, it's almost oh. unbeatable. And, and that's just what anyone anyone has a gauntlet and they're fucking unbeatable. Yeah, and it's funny because they make all of his toys with the gauntlet, and I'm like, that's not that's not his like primary that's not his weapon. thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, you know, you got to be formidable on your own to get there. Now, see. He, he kicks Hulk's ass in the movies pretty handily, whatever. He seems Which like a I good hated. fighter. I really hated that because that just should not have happened. I wanted to see them have a rematch, a yeah. rubber match. Which, of course, they made Hulk a fucking pussy. 
See, <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like Hulk in that Edward Norton one. Like he's I kind of too. a badass in that one. I do like too. that's the Hulk that you know. And then they, but again, you know, double A. I gotta admit, they they kind of gotta write the Hulk that way because then it's not. You have to. It's yes, not, I know. You have. He's to, just but, smashing everybody. But don't make Thanos just grabbing him. Boom, boom, boom. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. They they make him and Thor seem like they're much more even. Right. You know. Yeah. Because even with the gauntlet, Thor is like actually. But he I, throws a Stormbreaker, yeah, and it goes past that blast even when he has a gauntlet. But don't you feel like even in the comics they always kind of made Thor like seem like a bitch next to Hulk? I'm like Thor's not no yeah. slouch. No, I mean they like had classic battles. He's a fighter. Yeah, he's fucking got battles. fighting skill, and yeah. he's got the strength. Yeah. He's a god. You know what I mean? But like, it's just that Hulk that he always fights is the one that's savage, like absolutely savage. Yeah, Hulk. the dumb brute one. Yes, or whatever. the one that just gets more stronger the angrier he fucking gets. Hulk know? does beat him in the Bill Bixby version. I believe that's right. That's a great match. I like that fight actually. Oh, he's like, Yes, finally. <laughs> well, Richard is this, this clunker and he goes, Uh, with the gauntlet. Uh, if it's a gauntlet, Thanos takes Un- Sinestro. unbeatable, pretty much unbeatable. Man, yeah, he can just we can wind back time, he can turn you into a blob of bubbles that yeah, he kind of so. does in that one. But I mean, uh, like, I'd say Sinestro hangs with them pretty good. Uh, without the gauntlet, I'd say he hangs with him re- really well. I think it'd be an interesting fight, yeah, yeah, I think it'd yeah. be an interesting fight. I uh, think he hangs with him. Yeah, me one of them double A there. Uh, yeah, Rich, with the gauntlet, man, people are anyone that has it on is is if you have a semblance of brains, then you're gonna be okay, um, because it's it's everything. It's the ultimate weapon, almost yeah, in the Marvel space, universe. power, time, mind. Uh, Who would be a good matchup with Dark Side? Which I put, I for me, I think would be Dark Phoenix. I think Ooh. she's the only one that could really rival Dark Side. That's I don't even think Thanos can beat Dark Side. Dark Side is yeah. super fucking strong. I mm-hmm. think he would distort Thanos in a heartbeat. I, I, I hate it that Thanos beat him in the DC versus Marvel. Yeah. Because uh, I think Dark Side will whip his ass everywhere. Those comics are cool too, Rich, because there's a neat, a neat uh, panel where they show Darkseid with the Infinity Gauntlet on. Yeah. But they explain it that uh, that's in the Justice League versus. Um, it, it's somewhere, Avengers. yeah. And he throws it because it doesn't work in, in the yeah, DC he's, universe. He's like, oh, it doesn't work here or whatever. So he just tosses it off. No. Uh, Darkseid Dark is, is uh, a bad motherfucker. Yeah, man. He His power is uh, the Omega Beams alone. Like, man, Superman and, has to go full strength. Against Dark Side, that's right. like the only opponent I've ever seen him go right full, full strength, full rage. Yeah, on. yeah, where there's rage because yeah. Superman pretty much keeps his shit in check or whatever, so he's never really With hitting Dark Side. No, and even then, it's a hard, it's a hard clash against Dark Side. But mm-hmm. Dark Phoenix, I say, would be the the one comic character I'd say that can yeah go one on one with Dark Side. Rich, <clears throat> did you uh, watch the Snyder cut of the Justice League movie? It's on HBO Max right now. Still, I believe you can still watch it. Uh, you'll see Darkseid. He's very cool, man. I thought they made him they made it look kind of neat. Uh, they did two figures, and one of them has the blue armor on, which that one looks really cool. Without the armor, he looks kind of whack. But but with it, it looks neat. So, yeah, man, check out Justice League, the Snyder Cut. We did an episode on it, but you will see Darkseid Dark in there. Creation. Yeah. And Thanos is the actual the, the copy of Darkseid, right? In creation order. Dark Side was first, then Thanos. Hmm, I don't know. That's I believe so. I know that. I think that he was like, because they they we hear this throughout the one does their answer to whoever you know. Deadpool's the answer but to Deathstroke. It's and, funny though because actually he had, according to this, he was going to pitch it to Marvel. Dark Side, but but he was so upset with Stan Lee at that point that he was like, I'm keeping this because he hated what Stan Lee did with Silver Surfer, uh, just like he had told me. Well, what didn't he like about it? He didn't like that he made him a scientist on another planet. You remember how you said that. For for Jack Kirby, he wanted Silver Surfer just to be the, like this being with like no origin. Oh, you remember right. you told me? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, that's right. I and heard he felt that. and he hated that Stanley turned him into like this what he was. Well, I like the Norrin Rad character though. But I, he he felt like it was just like another a cliche, mm. and he didn't want that for it. Like he was like supposed to be like this god's, you know, herald. You know, and that was it. That's an interesting you know? aspect to think about him. Yeah. Have you heard about this Silver Surfer Black? Yes, I have. To. That's an interesting. I never, I never got it. Though. Yeah, that's an yeah. interesting. I think I have issue one. But they but show him where he's creating new gods. He he wanted to cancel Thor, and go with the new gods. And but, and Dark Side is one of the new gods. Yes, correct? and he was yeah. going to pitch it to Stan. Okay. But again, he was so pissed off with Stan at that point. He was like, "No, fuck you, fuck everything you've done," you know. So. So you don't even see Thor on the level of Dark Side. No. Wow. No. Interesting. No. Interesting. 
I, and I love Thor. And I think that he's got a lot more power. I do too. But Dark Side, uh, he's just the ultimate badass. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dark Side definitely tough, man. Again, when Superman has to go full strength on you, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's just yeah, that's just fucking insane. I know for yeah. sure. Um, oh, uh, Rich. I don't oh, know. I think I they've erased so. that. I think they've erased it. I, I would hope because I think he looked really cool in that uh, Snyder cut. We and always I just want to see Dark that. Side, man. Yeah, man. Him. Put him in a fucking Superman Luther, movie. Yeah. Stop with Jesse Eisenberg. Right? Yeah, that guy sucks. Yeah, bring bring a Dark. How about a Dark Side Superman movie? I, I'll, I'll fucking pay for it. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you got my money right there. All right, let's get back into the conversation, guys. Right now. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out during the quick little... Well, you didn't hear anything on the audio, uh, but I'm better at my cues. At least y'all are hearing that. Uh, but we are Facebook Live right now. we got some conversation going. We're talking with, uh, mainly right now, with Rich, uh, one of our favorite uh, Friday Nighters, uh, about some of the matchups he'd like to see. And he mentioned, will we ever get another Dark Side in movie format? Uh, we hope. We certainly hope. I certainly hope. I think you too, right, Double A, would love to see yeah. Dark Side come back yeah. in a movie. Oh, yeah. That's uh, all I ever want. You could build an entire movie around him, really. You know what I mean? Like, make him the Again, threat. stop you know with I mean? Luther. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's been done. So, all right, what do we got next, Double Okay, next one, this is pretty interesting, and I think he liked this a lot. It was Brainiac versus Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, man, here's here's two guys, too, that... But I could not do this matchup without Double A, because <laughs> I probably don't know enough about them individually to... Or even collectively to say how they would match up or whatever, but... I know that we have two extremely intelligent beings, extremely uh, uh, powerful. Uh, you know what I mean? It, have it's... weapons that have never been seen before. Right, right. Tech, technology that's never been seen and before. And always seem to be thinking 10 steps ahead. You know, th their, their advantage over their opponent is not that uh, maybe they're stronger or faster, but that... They've outthought them. I, I love the role that Brainiac did play in the Superman Red Sun, where right. it was like, wow, yeah. he manipulated him he from manipulated afar, Superman. which was a big part in the uh, the one episode you had me watch Wait, about Lex? Brave New Metropolis. Right? Or is, it... is that the one with Lex, where he's fixing him? Or is that the one with Bruce still? It's the one with, yeah, yeah, with, where Superman and Lex are like the, kind of the... Yeah, that one. one. Yes, yeah. yes, that yeah. one, yeah. And it was uh, it was interesting because it was almost that kind of that kind yeah. of thought process where it's like oh yeah. he's thought so far ahead of you how to manipulate you and which ways to do it uh, that <clears throat> that's how you're at a loss you know what I mean not because he you know beat you down but it's because he kind of outsmarted you in such a way you know what I mean yeah. so uh, and Kang I mean clearly smart has been to the future mm -hmm. has ruled you know has technology. That can hurt, you know, the Avengers. He can go one on one with the Avengers. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, so we got this supercomputer, Brainiac, that has took in the knowledge of just about every planet that he's come across, destroys it when he's done, and adds to his collection of technology. Mm -hmm. Now he's been able to go one on one with Superman, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So super powerful super smart computer he can make weapons he can make sophisticated weapon weapon where i mean he's, he's a bad motherfucker brainiac yeah king you know <clears throat> comes from a future where it's peaceful mm -hmm. he finds a time travel you know he goes into the future conquers that planet brings that technology back to ancient egypt conquers that era obviously Interesting. real easy yeah He's tired. He's like, okay, I conquered this. I conquered that real easy. I want to go where the shit happens. Okay. Goes against the Avengers, loses. Goes against Fantastic Four, loses. I mean, I don't know. I On this one, I have to, say I have to give the advantage to Brainiac. You know, I was doing one-on-one. Interesting, on one. interesting. Because when King actually does go up against uh, opponents, mm -hmm. he loses. Mm -hmm. Like, equal opponents. Yeah. Not, you know, slaves from ancient Egypt. Not a peaceful planet from the future that where all the weapons are destroyed. You know, King is great. King, classic character, classic Avenger character. Mm -hmm. But Brainiac has knowledge from planets, dozens of planets. He can make sophisticated software, and he has gone to the 31st century. Yeah. He has made it that far. So. And Kang is from somewhere like around that time, too. Time, period, time period, too. Yes. Yeah. So I love this matchup just because it seems so even. The tech would be awesome if whoever like I would love to have seen Jack Kirby do this matchup oh, yeah. with all his technology, all his you know that shit that you <laughs> always see. You know, yeah, I would like to see that play out in Jack Kirby art. 
but maybe with uh, what's a good writer? Maybe like a Marv Wolfman. Oh, that'd be uh, nice. Yeah, you know, I like that. I like that Marv Wolfman. Definitely. You gotta have someone that kind of writes in that. A Chris style. Claremont, maybe. Yeah, that'd be very you know, good too. So, uh, and this one, I would have to give it to Brainiac, though. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Brainiac. I also. think he's just too overpowering. And if you do go one on one, Brainiac's gonna kick his ass. Yeah, one on one. And I mean, I've seen the stuff we saw, you know, with Kang with the uh, the TVA and the Loki series. I know that's not, you know, supposedly not Kang yet, but we know it's Kang. Um, and the things that I know of him, but um, like I said, with Brainiac, it seems like he only really ever matches up with Superman. That really matches yeah. up. In that one episode you had me watch, it's like uh, the Superman one. He just he just pretty much is manipulating. He has he manipulates Batman quick. He doesn't even know that it's Batman. He's just like, oh, Bruce Wayne has money and he uses nanites <laughs> yeah, he to get to yeah, him. Yeah, he doesn't even know it's him. Yeah. yeah, he gets to him so easily. And when he's done with him, he's like, I have no more use for you. I'm just going like, <laughs> to yeah. ev eviscerate you. And then it turns out to be Superman, not, you know, he ends up fighting Superman, not, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Um, so, it, uh, you know, like I said, the Red Sun one is a really great story where it's like, damn, he manipulated him to this yeah. fucking tyrant you know what i mean he made the the yeah the, he the made Russian superman, superman tyrant, tyrant. Yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean where he's at the point where he's telling him like no you can't quit we're not going to go back to the old ways this is the way it is now this is the world now you know uh he's just so manipulative is so cunning and he, i mean again i'm not saying that king isn't those things or whatever but there's at least a version of king that we know of that what that whenever he ruled he didn't he tried to keep things good and keep the timeline in order I don't think there's a good version of Brainiac. Yeah, he's, he's just yeah. always a fucking asshole so, <laughs> and, a, and a bad, bad guy. So uh, I'm going to go Brainiac as well on that one. Okay. Good one, double A. Uh, next one, I would say this would be like a grudge match, a hoss match, match. It's General Zod versus Thor. Ooh, I like this. I feel like this is going to turn into a these, slugfest. These two guys have a wealth of experience mm -hmm. fighting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, I think they like fighting too. They like warring. That's a thing. Yeah. Now, um, now essentially he's fighting Superman, but maybe without the the will of Superman. Almost Zod is just really just trying to go for the knockout punch. Almost mm -hmm. right? Would you say? Yeah, I, I also Zod's think that, more extreme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's an extremist. He has the the killing edge. Like that's not, murder is nothing to him. I mean, you know, so. Um, you know, Thor's going to see right away someone's in there that's scrapping with him that is going all out. So that gives him like, well, all right, great. Get to let, I get to let the hair down. Yeah. So now I'm going to start fucking you up too yeah. or whatever. Um, and you get uh, that kind of Thor, I think, that is kind of like we see um, in the beginning of, of Endgame when, he, you know, he's realizing he should have gone for the head. Like that Thor that was bested and isn't gonna, didn't like getting bested. Um there are some advantages for Zod, though. The military experience, the strategist part of him. But that would almost, like, it gives him experience. But you're talking about a god that's been living for centuries. Sure. You know? Sure. But scrapping with ice giants versus scrapping with, with an experienced Superman. With an experienced Superman. A, a war-hardened Superman. I mean, I don't know how much wars krypton was in or whatever but um enough that they had to have a military mm -hmm. you know so they had to have a general <clears throat> named zod <laughs> um it'd be a big slugfest like if i was to do it on comics that's all i would really do just slug slug it out slug it out yeah the speed should be maybe zod has a slight advantage on the i'd speed. call it i'd call it comparable i think it would be comparable if he speed. wants to go that route yeah i've never seen zod actually use speed before yeah, I see these guys down on the ground, literally grinding themselves into layers of the earth, fucking headlocks, fucking trying to uh, incapacitate the other or whatever. Almost like a super powered UFC heavyweight yeah. bout yeah. where it's ground and pound. Um, and does Thor have the advantage because he has a hammer? Yeah, that might be what puts him over. That might Mjolnir might, him might over. put him over, yeah. Uh, I think because I don't think it adds his power or anything, but he just wields that weapon. So do handily. you do you put it in the comic form where Thor is on the floor and you put the Neil to Zod? <laughs> and do you write that down? <laughs> yeah, no Neil before Zod. <laughs> he tells him that. He tells him that. Uh, Zod tells Thor to Neil before. Him. Yeah, I think so. I don't know why too. I'm seeing like John Romita Junior. 
drawing these. Ooh, I would love that. That would be with the big because uh, he's always big, draws bulky, the big yeah. jaws. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. I would love to see that. That'd be good. That'd be good. Um, I'm giving it to Thor. I'm giving it slightest to Thor myself because I think Zod's pride and ego would get in the way, and yeah. I think Thor would be able to finish him off. But it'd be one hell of a fucking slugfest for Thor. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be uh, uh, at the end a, a kind of a swollen up Thor. And, yeah, you know, uh, they went. They were gonna go through a fucking a war. Literally, it's gonna be a war between Thor and and Zod. I li I like the idea of that. Okay, and this one you're gonna have to help me because you okay. probably have more. Okay, Raven versus Scarlet Witch. I don't know anything about Raven. So my stuff with Raven is just really coming from Titans or whatever <laughs> recently. But I mean, I did look up some of her stuff because I wanted to know more. And I just watched one of the movies too. It was uh, uh, the DC animated uh, Justice League versus uh, Teen Titans, which was really good. Oh, wow. Joe okay. suggested that one. Joe from now watch this. And I really liked it. And I, I felt like um, the Titans show borrowed uh, some of the primary story from that. So Raven is the son of a demon named trigon who pretty much is like a lucifer like he's like like the devil like a demon from hell her powers are like that like psychokinetic i guess you know she can manipulate stuff the fire. force field yeah okay. like like uh like yeah but her shit is like this like black like matter that like it can fucking like like and she's a mm -hmm. okay. yeah okay. but but i think see what so what i'm kind of understanding is when you're on the titans it's like you don't know how to use your power so that's why it's kind of like the x-men so you're trying to like learn how to control it because she can she can go out of control and she's fucking everything up okay. you know what i mean okay uh because she's dealing with that or whatever but when i was watching the show and i was seeing uh and i'm a little sad right now because in season three we haven't gotten that much raven um yet uh she's off doing something else but uh i was like oh shit you're it reminded me a lot of wanda and i was like if you get your shit under control and you can use it and when they show her using the powers uh in the show uh she does a good job when they they show her have a better handle of it too in the in the animated movie she can use the manipulate the power better or whatever again it's like again like from it's like a, I don't want to say chaos magic because that that's Wanda, but it's like it's like from hell type magic. Like she's okay. like like a, the, the daughter of a demon. Almost what you say like Doctor Strange the movie where they're pulling from the dark dimension. Yeah, but she's not casting spells or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's not like that. Like she can do like possession okay. things like that. Like again, like I said, like uh, manipulating matter. You know what I mean? So it's like it, it reminded me very much of the reality bending power uh, that, that Wanda does. You know what I mean? So she's literally bending the reality around her, which obviously we saw. Wanda, since House of M, has mm -hmm. just become this hugely mm -hmm. powered super being now. Yeah. Ever since House of M. Now, you know everything about Wanda. She's super powerful. Mm -hmm. She can, I mean, she can really fuck up things bad. Yeah. Raven, does she have a really good shot against Wanda? Because right now, Wanda's supposed to be just one of those, you know, ace in the holes mm -hmm. up there with Dark Phoenix. So, Raven right now, um mm -hmm. and again, I don't know where Raven exactly is in the comic books with her power, um uh, but uh as I even looked up some articles on that about her, I wanted to see like what people out in the thing were saying and they were saying she is like a top tier uh DC person or whatever. Right. Um you know what I mean, but again, I think a lot of times what comes up is that like, you know, she's always portrayed as like young so she can't really use her even starfire is supposed to be like extremely powerful or whatever mm -hmm. but um yeah the thing that comes in is that like and, and again i think they write it this way because they're like the teen titans so they're always kind of like under the justice league but which like sucks I said, for them because the characters are growing but like you know? i said at one point this was the most popular title in the dc universe yeah you know so raven mm -hmm. reminds me her powers are pretty much like what we see of movie wanda you know what I mean? Damn. Now, mind Damn. you, what we see of Scarlet Witch in the in the uh, WandaVision, excuse me, a whole other level. So because of that... And I, she was able to take out... She was going to take out Thanos. Yeah. With the Infinity Glove. Yeah. She was going to tear him apart. I, I, I think that Raven can hold her own in some big battles okay. if she's got full control of the power. Okay. But she doesn't yet. So, and again, it's hard for me to put into words what that power really is because it just really reminds me of that where she has the ability to like fold matter and bend reality and like, you know, access other dimensions or whatever, like interdimensional mm -hmm. uh, powers or whatever. Again, because she's like the, it's a daughter of a human and then like 
again like a demon, a, a demon like almost, almost like a Mephisto. a Mephisto yeah uh, so she's really really up there again but the thing that I think is that would fuck her up is that like if she went too deep too dark it would overcome her and that would leave her vulnerable so I would give it to Wanda but I think that it would be a really fun and exciting match to watch uh, and, and if somebody wrote it right you know what I mean that had a good understanding of both powers it would be Chris Claremont would probably really be the badass. Best. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, I mean I would even imagine maybe, um, I know he's maybe not everyone's favorite right now, but Jeff Johns is Jeff Johns is, a, is yeah. a really good guy on that stuff. You know what I mean? So it's hard not to do it, but I definitely feel as though there's going to be probably a very House of M story that DC maybe has in their back pocket that they can do with Raven because she's up there, man. And I would like to see what she does against some of the really super power people in DC. Uh, with a it's better interesting that power. they have that kind of character in Titans. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know that she should be, dude. Why pick Why pick Cyborg? Why not pick her then? You know? I don't know. And in the let me tell you, in the uh, movie that Joe had me watch, the Justice League versus the uh, Teen Titans. What was really cool was that uh, I also got to see the Latino Blue Beetle or whatever. Yeah, the one and, that uh, Zolo is going to be portrayed. Yeah, and that Scarab thing is kind of acts almost like a symbiote, like in the way in the way it acts. Okay. And he's pretty powerful too. Or whatever. Okay, well, yeah. I'm more excited then about Zolo playing. Uh, me too. Uh, I, I, Miguel I from Cobra it. Kai. Number yeah. one, it was neat to see a Latino or whatever, but yeah, it was yeah. cool. And then um, in that one, it's the Damien Robin or whatever, that kind of the movie premises on damien has to go to the titans to get damien. to okay. get trained up yeah okay. damien wayne so uh i think that it's fun it was actually the first one i thought of when you said this i thought okay. of that and i was like dang i kind of want to like i kind of want to read it. teen titans just to see or raven storyline just to see what she can do you know how you talked about how you ordered the blood sports yeah i ordered not her first appearance uh i couldn't get my hands on one uh, i found it affordable but i i, I didn't i didn't win my uh my eBay thing, but I got this really great cover. They had did these uh, single shots of like one was like Starfire, one was Raven, oh, one nice. was um, okay. I don't know if it was Cyborg. It was I think it was Beast Boy, but they didn't call him Beast Boy. Then they called him the something else, yeah, okay. the Transformer or something. Okay. He changed, uh, but they did like these kind of single shots, and I got the Raven one. It's really neat nice. with her on the cover with the kind of the power. That sounds awesome. I want to read it, but yeah, but uh, I think she's a force to be reckoned with for oh, wow. sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. So. Uh, but this, Scarlet a little bit because now we know you know we've seen it. Wanda's Wanda's fucking strong. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, this next one, uh, man, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I would say this is my Bret Hart versus Mister Perfect SummerSlam. Okay. Okay. This is like the for the IC belt. This one. Okay? okay. Like your best fighter. That's not like the the Hulk Hogan Macho Man Ultimate Warrior Ric Flair. You know. Hmm. Nightwing versus Winter Soldier. Oh man, I had a feeling that this was the one you were talking about because I was like, I was listening, to Mister Perfect and Brand. I'm like, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a great because match. these guys started off as sidekicks, almost identical, mm-hmm. and then they went on to both become extreme badasses. Very probably much so. should be in the top ten, top five at least for Nightwing for me. Mm-hmm. It should be in the top five badass fighters for DC. Winter Soldier should be in the top ten badass fighters. Uh, Dick Grayson, the first original Robin, the best Robin, became Nightwing, became a leader, but just became an ultimate badass, monitors his own city, just as good of a fighter as Batman, you know, could take over the Batman mantle real easy Mm -hmm. without even knowing that Bruce Wayne left. Absolutely. Uh, On the other side, you got Bucky, Winter Soldier, highly trained assassin, highly trained fighter. Uh, can go one on one with Cap mm-hmm. again. Uh, their mentor, they can each go up against their own mentor and probably do the job really, really well. Uh, but man, this one I was just so excited to talk to you about. Yeah, man. Who do you go with? How how would you write it? How would the fight be? Okay, so there's a lot of things for me in this one because there's like I I have a I see it multiple ways. One of the ways I see it, uh, and hey, Joe, what's up? I saw you got here, brother. Uh, I know we're not reading comments yet, but I wanted to tell you hi. Thank you for hey, having me. Um, okay, first off, I love what you said about Nightwing. I am huge into Nightwing right now, and yeah. not just because of the Titans show. I think I just realized, like, I was like, you know, I was just in my mind and thinking about it, and, like how much I love the Dick Grayson yeah. version of yeah. Robin and the Dick Grayson version of Nightwing. And then the more that I think about the things that I dislike about Batman, 
not necessarily a fault of his own or whatever. I know I get a lot of heat for I did too. You uh, know, we, for we hating Batman about, or whatever about what they did. They, and, yeah. they just made Batman the ultimate badass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a DC thing or whatever, and I would say it's mainly in the comics, really, and maybe yeah. some of the animated movies. Because yeah, but... we like him in the. We think Batman the animated series is fucking wonderful. Love it. I love that. We one. love the Christian Bell Batman. Mm -hmm. You know, he's more toned down. Mm -hmm. I love Keaton too. Or whatever Keaton, they don't even make yeah. him. They make they them... never make him the badass supreme badass that he is in fucking DC. The good things the movies do with the character is that they wait. They find a way to make him vulnerable, and it's probably not hard for them to write that because he's oh, a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's probably very hard for them to write yeah. Superman vulnerable because they're like, well, fuck, he's a practically a god. And that's why his series always suffers mm -hmm. because of that. Right, right. So when you have when you have a guy whose primary villain is the Joker, who's not even not even anywhere in the realm of the physical. No ability near. of fighting of batman here no nope. yet he is uberly popular if this was a popularity thing and the joker would <laughs> if dc did a dc versus marvel now with just the popular characters i would find it very difficult for someone to beat joker or harley from marvel <laughs> i'm like who is as over as them and they're not that powerful. They're, no, they're not, not powerful at they're all. Not. They're like regular Batman people. Batman kicks his ass all the time. Yeah, and Harley takes her lumps or whatever, but Aren't they fucking fun? They're so fun. So getting back to this, what Dick Grayson embodies to me is all the things that Batman is plus the things he's he's not. He, he's, yeah, exactly. That's good because all that bullshit that we hate about Batman, Dick Grayson does not have. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's the thing. Now, somebody could say, well, you guys said that Batman couldn't beat Cap because whatever. Now, Bucky has... Not super soldier serum, but he has some he has type something of something in there. Now here's the thing, and this is another thing where that potentially that you could say if Batman fought Cap, why it would be potentially a draw at best, is because when Batman realized this guy's hitting with like a Mac fucking truck, if that didn't knock him the fuck out, he may be able to evade and become more elusive and you know it might be a uh canelo mayweather thing where i'm just going to get out of the way and get out of the way and dodge dodge the thing about cap is he doesn't tire he no he could do this all day <laughs> so that's not going to work in that fight that's why that's a, a, a fail because somebody would say well batman's often faced guys stronger than him like bane who has venom and all that and you're right i'm like right but bane isn't on cap's level we did our Cap versus Bane, obviously. Uh, is that what we did? We did Cap no, versus Bane? We, Wolverine, Wolverine versus, Bane. versus Bane. But it would be Cap versus Bane. It would be the same thing because it's like... Which he, they did in the DC versus Marvel. And he just beat his ass. He beats his ass quick. Right. You know what I mean? So that's how it's going to be because he's that much better. You know what I mean? Imagine Batman's fighting skill, but with like someone's power, not Superman's, but someone like that. You know, above, a level above. You know what I mean? So now this is where the dick grayson thing is it is that bucky's not you know he's winter not, soldier's not cap it's really the arm too that's the strong part mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and and dick is gonna see that dick is gonna not rely on on uh because most of the time what do we see bucky using the machine gun the machine gun yeah he's, using he's the usually guns. always using it yeah he never really goes one-on-one -on -one fighting mm -hmm. too much and i see these two uh somewhat fighting like the way that Steve and Bucky are fighting in their first meeting oh, in man. Winter Soldier 2. Yeah. Almost like yeah. that. But if 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 Buck does have whatever he has in him and it's like and and Dick does feel that, he's gonna be like, okay, I cannot take I cannot trade with this guy because he's stronger. I definitely can't take hits from that arm. So uh I do believe that with some of the Batman knowledge and training, he's gonna disable, disarm mm -hmm literally disarm yeah. him some way and shut that arm down yeah. and once he has that it's going to be like a boxer with a closed eye yeah. dick's going to play to that weak side mm -hmm. and ultimately with that fighting seal and that training from batman and again with the things that he has that batman doesn't have which sometimes are things like compassion and and not being overconfident and not thinking that he's going to walk into every fight and win which which sometimes it's you know uh you have to understand your opponent's going to be stronger faster yeah. with what, what yeah. weird powers he's going to be ready for that um and I, I give it to nightwing i give it to nightwing too i think he's a better fighter than winter soldier mm -hmm. i think he's more clever mm -hmm. um again i think he's the perfect pupil that batman's ever going to have he he got all the strengths that batman has and, and none almost, of the weakness. almost none of the weaknesses i love that i love yeah. that you put that so i'm going to give this one to nightwing too i like the bucky character uh, the Winter Soldier. Love character. Winter Soldier. Super but, badass. But I think Nightwing all the way. There, I can't really rate too many fighters above uh, Nightwing. Uh, 
Batman probably, uh, but even then, I think him and Batman would, yeah, would go to a draw almost. Oh yeah, Nightwing and and Bruce, yeah, uh, Dick and Bruce. I I think that'd be even fight. I think that'd be the most even fight. Yeah, and uh, this, this this ain't Robin no more, y'all. This no. is Nightwing is a fucking bad dude. Yeah. Like he's so, awesome. And again, like man, Double A, what you said was perfect, dude. Could slip into the mantle of Batman, and no one would know the yeah. difference. I love that, and that is true. And again. The things that make Batman a bad guy in the comic books that we don't like about him, whatever, Dick Grayson isn't that at all. So that that's uh I love that fight. Okay. Now we're gonna go into our heavyweight fights. Okay. okay. And we're, do we we're go close. into it or do we read the comments? Let's start it. Let's start it. We got five minutes. Do we have um now let's do comments real yeah, quick. Yeah, we yeah, got let's five minutes. Okay, yeah, I think these they serve their own. Uh, okay, here we go. Minutes. All right, so who popped in? Who popped in? Uh, uh, Jason says, uh, what's going on this weekend? This weekend is the Lost Boys. Oh, that's this uh, weekend? Event, yeah. We're, and not, we're not going into public anymore, pretty much. No, part, like, I really wanted why? to. It was supposed to be in August, and it didn't happen. <laughs> Where is that at? Gonna or be at? It was supposed to be in July. In July? July. Yeah. Um, I think it's like around the Rock Box. Okay, okay. But then the, the, the saxophone player... At Allen Frog are supposed to be at Traders on Sunday. There you go, right there. So, so Jason, if you're a fan of the Lost Boys movie, the guy that plays one of the Frog Brothers, uh, you know the two kids that are which teaching is cool. About the I thing. mean, he'd be yeah, cool. He, that's cool. A good one. I'd love yeah, to get that Alan, on a on a my uh, DVD that, copy. That badass uh, comic that you have, that'd be awesome. Oh too. gosh, that'd be really neat yeah, to get. Yeah, because they literally cool. give yeah, him that. They give yeah, that to Corey. That'd be cool too. And again, the saxophone player for the famous. Uh, <laughs> I mean, um, he's everywhere on the memes. <laughs> is it Tim? Tim? Uh, you know what? I wish Johnny Rock. I know Johnny Rock would definitely. Know. <laughs> they fucking know. They actually bought tickets to see him. You know him what? <laughs> they got me in just to buy tickets to see him too. We were going to see him at the oh, mix really? right okay. before the first pandemic. Okay. We still have them. I think they're in Jessica's wallet. Oh like, damn! Okay. Because uh, the mix said if when he comes back, they're going to honor him or whatever. Oh, okay. Is that now? Is it coming back now? <laughs> we're fucking waiting here. I should take those two and be like, "Are you honoring these?" It's fuck, you know. Uh, but, that's uh, all I know about this weekend for sure. So yeah, last weekend was Ekman's, and I don't really know anything uh, else this weekend either, uh, Jason. So that's that's a. But man, that's that, that, that sounded like fun. That whole event. I, was I know. God, really, really it. looking forward to that. If but we I weren't just, in, uh, I can't. I can't do it in good I faith. I can't do it. It's yeah. too risky. Yeah, it's too risky for my family. It's too risky for. CM here. We, we want to be family. here for you guys and be able to be in the same room and do this show like this. So for us, to, one of us to go out to something and like that is kind of. Let me tell you risky. something. Quarantine it was a fucking bitch. Yeah. And uh, my mom it, said the same thing. It literally drives you nuts. Yeah. So, she cried. She likes yeah. to be in her room and by herself anyway and on her phone. But, no, but she this missed one, my nephew. This I'm one sure you just, missed your kids. Yes, because you can literally you start thinking about everything you touch, mm -hmm. and you're like, I can't, I can't touch shit. I mm -hmm. can't. Put my kids in danger. I can't do shit, you know? So. She would walk out with gloves and her mask. She would wash her own dish, yeah. put everything up. Then yeah. she'd spray the doors. And, and she just, what, she yeah, was miserable. Was she was miserable. She, she felt okay, but she you was miserable. You felt like a prisoner. Like you couldn't do anything yeah. in your own body. You yeah. felt like a prisoner in your own body. We so. had a tray outside of her room. We would make her food, put the yeah, food see, on there. She put the dishes out. I was like, yeah, see, I felt horrible. for her too. I felt yeah. for her too. It, it sucks, man. It does suck. So um, yeah, so in good conscience, we can't, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to try. Anybody wants to go check it out? Do you feel like you're going to be all right? Go, go for it. Not saying... You know, not to. <laughs> Joe uh, says, what up, boys? 2810 East Central up in the floor. Let's go awesome. Hornets. Let's go Hornets. I am a Hornet All right. now, too. So. Awesome. All right, Joe. Let's hope your boys get a win. And Chris says, hey, if you want to make a poster announcement for shirts, they can message you or myself. I'll put in the order. Sizes are small to 3X for $24 shipped directly to them. Boom. Right there, guys. There and you have it. Rizzo has it worked out for us. Where our Alamo City... The, the, it ain't Sin City. It's the Alamo City. No, guys. Just another Friday night shirt. 24 bucks. Uh, you can get the double A version with the backwards cap or the CM Chuck. Oh, we're we're, we're no doing X-Men number one here, people. There you go. Hey, you you, you want the, the connecting combo. shirt? <laughs> <laughs> get, get them both right there, right? I mean, uh, what, 48 bucks? Come on. That's a, you're going to spend 50 bucks at the bar this weekend or going Damn. to see uh, the Lost Boys. So you might as well get one of these sweet babies right here. We're uh, doing X-Force number one. We're doing X-Men number one. Yeah, variants up the ass. Oh, we're gonna be wearing the shit out of these. Too, you want them so. in poly bag? We can probably work something out. We'll probably work that out. <laughs> Ship to your door. Message me. Message double A. Message just another Friday night, or you can message Chris. Uh, Chris, did you say message you? Yeah. Or message Chris Rizzo. Uh, get on there at Invincible Comics and that, and message him. Uh, 
uh, Riz, uh, shoot me a link or something like that uh, that I can put up on the Friday Night Faithful or if you're able to do that. And then I'll also put it on our main page uh, so we can get those shirts going for people. 24 bucks, man. I love it. If you need, this is, if you need it, uh, bigger sizes uh, up to 5XL could be worked out. Yeah, I mean, we might have some yeah, people that's like that a blanket. might that. Yeah, we, <laughs> might have, we might have some folks that need that one. So uh, love that, Riz. Thank you for getting that taken care of. How are we doing on time? For us, uh, let me check here on time. Uh, what, you mean like in the no, night? No, no, or? no. Oh, uh, oh, okay. All right, no. guys. Uh, <laughs> let's take that next break. We already read the comments, and then we'll get right back to you guys. All right, all right, all right. We're letting that load up. Uh, good shit on the shirts, Riz. We appreciate yeah, that. Man, I can't tell you how much I love this. That's awesome shirt. I'll probably be wearing it all the fucking time. Yeah, just because gonna... my silhouettes are. <laughs> yeah, I know. And me too. People say, "Who's that guy in the back?" We got to, you know what? We got to when we wear them next week. We got to show the comic so we can show like what it looks like compared. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, be cool. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. show the Marvel. Yeah, you've got the the original. I've got it in a in a graphic. So, uh, yeah, um, Riz, if you're still here hanging out, man, tell us some news. What's up uh, with Invincible Comics and more? What's the next thing? Who's doing the next uh, sale or whatever? Are you I was going to tell you. No, uh, I was going to tell you real quick. I went to Gravity Damage and mm. they had a whole bunch of King Spawn number one mm. uh, i tried asking this other group they're wearing if anyone's read it because you know i saw that yeah i saw you did ask did yeah, any answers i don't i didn't get any answers so did I it just come that. out yeah it just came out oh okay maybe nobody had hoopla. a chance yeah. it was a big hoopla with tom mcfarland signing some of those rare variants that he oh has, yeah so. gravity got one did you see it? yes they did 1200 $1, bucks they said the buyer uh flaked out so good night jason thank you for joining us oh, brother. Night, sorry jason. it's so late my guy uh have a great weekend uh yeah, flaked out man. I would flake out twelve hundred dollars. Fuck man, that's. I mean, it's awesome, but godly, I don't even think he charges that much out of Comic Con. <laughs> what would you price that at? $50, uh, dollars autograph. Fifty dollars. I'm on fifty dollars. No, too low. I mean, he's got to do like Jim Lee, right? I mean, Two hundred. Hundred maybe. So some of those just went out in 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 lots of the comics. Yeah, yeah, but man, Gravity has like a shitload of them, so. Like boxes and boxes of those King Spawns. I guess you had, I guess it's like Mario told us. Like you have to order like so much to in order to get one of those. Okay. Okay. And I was like, but man, they have boxes of fucking King Spawn. I'm like, who? I'm gonna pick one up. Good luck on what's I'm trying price? to sell those out. Eight or nine? Probably five, maybe. Okay, I'll do five. Maybe. Yeah. Shit, man, a lot of those. Uh, remember those uh, three Joker's books were like nine dollars each. Or oh, were they? they? Were they? Yeah, they were kind of pricey. They were pricey. I remember, man. Yeah, and then we found them like what. Um, a few months later for like half of that class yeah i'm not gonna lie uh i think the dc the future state ones were like there were a lot too i was like 8.99 yeah. like, I, I don't know what's going that. on with the the fucking prices a nine like, dollar comic i i, I have to ha i have a hard time justifying that to my lady like it, i do no <laughs> it's not even justifying that it's like even myself i'm like is it worth it to fucking pick up a nine dollar comic i'm like damn that's that's fucking a lot you know yeah yeah <laughs> i think i have some stuff over at uh Dragon's Lair, I got. I need, right. I need to go get. I need to go out to Dragon's Lair and get that stuff. But uh, Riz says I'm planning a two dollar comic sale starting Sorry, tomorrow. tomorrow. Marvel and some DC. There cool, you go. Cool. Right in, right in uh, tune with the uh, with what we got going on here. Uh, he says uh, that's a buy it now price. Okay. Uh, awesome. Okay. Okay. Right on, man. Excellent. Excellent. Riz, would you? What would you price the Todd McFarlane King Spawn signed at? Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. A good a, price. That's fucking a lot. I that's way more than his comic con yeah, prices. I, I I don't know who's buying that. I guess you buy it and you, but well, you can't even get it uh, CGC graded because it's not verified. Well, uh, man, I saw it on a video where he said they were. Oh, already? Yeah. Man, I can't remember what he said, but he said something like they were witness, mm. and they are numbered because they are numbered. Oh, cool. So I okay. think the CGC would know. That, it that was, it's uh, McFarlane. It's actually McFarlane. Did you watch the uh, the Bob Ross documentary? I know no, is, but I, I heard, this is off. No, but I heard saying that somehow it's like um, everyone thought it was going to be like a feel good doc, but it's not. No, it's there's a definite dark side to uh, it. Yeah, a, a lot of it is feel good. That's why it's a good watch because you're like, damn man. And you know what? I was watching it. And I was like, I'm gonna get me a Bob Ross shirt. But by the end, I was like. Well, I guess I can't get one now. I, and that's what I, I heard. I was like, okay, wow. That's what I heard that, that it's not going. You know, his son got totally fucked. And and... It's just like, you know, with him, mm -hmm. you know, his family doesn't get shit. And everything, like the Eternals and is his. That's all his, the Eternals. Ouch. Nothing to do with Stanley. And the Justice League movie, 
the fourth, uh, the new gods. I mean, that was basically his stuff. Dark Sight's his creation. Steppenwolf is his creation. Desaad is his creation. So he got fucked by the, DC and Marvel. Yeah, the Mar the Mother Box is actually a Kirby creation, a Kirby creation too. The Mother Box. Man, they use the fuck out of that thing. That's what I'm saying. It's like even Marvel and DC are both using stuff that Kirby created. Like, it just hurts to me that this stuff is out there and it's known. And I think and that's, that's why what I was they... telling you, Sam. Like when I was reading it, like it made me appreciate this guy. A whole lot more than what we already do. Yeah. But it also pisses you off that, golly, yeah. this guy gave, he gave the look to all these heroes. And it's kind of like, you know, Stan, we love Stan. We yeah. Do. But, man, you know, they give too much Stan credit to Stan Lee and not enough to this guy, you know, so. Do you think it's something that these companies can make right, Double A? No, they, they don't want to. Look how hard Neil Adams had to find for See, going and Schuster. Schuster. Man, they fucked those guys bad if it wasn't for Neil Adams. And see, this they is didn't the even thing. want to put their names that I, created, Superman created by. I wasn't necessarily on Chappelle's side when he went to fight for his stuff, but I was glad that he got it and he won that fight and kind of easily once the fans knew. And this is what I put my post today on the Friday Night Faithful. I was like, is the internet going to go after these people that are fucking Bob Ross? Like, because. <sighs> When his own kid don't own the name and the likeness and all That's that, weird, and other right? people make Especially money off of it. how how big he's become now. Well, you know, it's one thing when when people sign it away in a in a, a the they don't know something, but it's another thing when these people like underhandedly obtained it. It's like. Oh wow, you know what I mean? Like that's fucked. It, it's a lot I mean? of bullshit, man. I'm and we sorry. know, and, and we know now. Now we're more than know. We never used to know this shit back in the Motown days when artists were getting fucked. Yeah. But now we know. The internet's got it out there first, and they're making documentaries and shit like this. It's like okay, well, there's some things that I believe that the internet community or whatever that has power. You're over here busy fucking Star Wars over. Get off that. Why don't you get these people their money? Give these other people that are assholes a hard time so that they'll do the right thing. Like, that's what should be done. Like, it's kind of crazy. There's a part in here, too, where Joe Simon is suing them uh, for the Captain America stuff. Mm. And they're kind of forcing Kirby to say, like, hey, Captain America is Marvel. It wasn't created by you or Joe Simon. And then all of a sudden, there's like a Captain America thing that comes out and it says created by Stan Lee. And it was like, whoa, that's one character that everyone knows no, Stan Lee had no part of. Yeah. You know, so I was like, wow. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Very, very. Uh, I mean, it's bullshit. You know, it sucks. And I don't know. It, it's hard to talk about it. It's like, God, Lee, at least give this man more respect. Give the family some sort of money. Yeah. You know, I mean, God, well, Lee. And that's like that story that came out of that long ago, right? Double A, where they were saying, like, oh, the right, the creators of certain storylines only get like five grand or yeah, whatever. Yeah, because there was a part where he's like at Toys R Us and, you know, he's looking at all the figures that he created and he was like, man, I have to get out of here because I'm not getting a cent from any of this. That would break my fucking heart. Yeah, like, me he personally, like, like, that would break my heart. They were like, uh, like one of his granddaughters, like, you know, Grandpa, I want this Iron Man, and he was just like looking at disgust, like, "Wow, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like I'm not seeing a cent from this cell yeah. that I created Iron Man." That you know, would so. that would break my heart. That's why I love, and I always bring it up, but I always bring up Elvira, Cassandra Peterson, smart. and and and, uh, and Paul Rubens, Peter super Herman. Smart. <laughs> Any time that you see a Pee Wee Herman or an super, Elvira, super they're smart. getting money yeah. off of it. The creator gets money. Yeah. I love that. That's smart. <laughs> but you know, you don't always know that and you don't always do that. And I would only want to ever be that kind of creator because I would hate it. it, it, it see, that sucked. was the whole point of image. Remember? Yeah. yeah. That we're going to create the characters and creator owned. And it was going to mm -hmm. be creator owned. And look how good Robert Kirkman's done. Yeah, but Walking Dead and yep. Invincible, and... and I hate to say it, Double A, but that kind of I feel kind of maybe too was like the AEW format, like you know the pro wrestling t shirts. Yeah, because they let them have it. Because them. once you go to WWE, they take that away from you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, the same thing with like your name, your yeah. character, yeah. like you're like yeah. hey, that's you. You want to yeah. go on there and be Double A? You, you're Double A. You yeah. own Double A now. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. a cool thing for the wrestlers. I mean, and that's I, mean, I like I like creator own shit. I like that. It should be your. Because it sucked when I heard that podcast with Ed Rubaker, and I thought he was going to be kind of gushing, like, man, neat, the story I essentially <laughs> yeah. wrote, and he was pretty much disgruntled about it. Because I'm like, you're seeing wow. all these people making so much money off of it. And that's essentially our favorite Captain America movie, and it's like, oh, man, you don't like but it? Like I'd Chris, hate to be the creator and not but like it. look like Chris Evans is getting paid like 15 mil, and the, Disney's making so much money off of this, and... 
They can you know, break like, these guys off a million don't give bucks. Them 5, it's thousand. nothing. Give them a million. It's nothing. A million dollars is nothing yeah, these, to these guys. You know guys. what? You want to hear a peep from these fucking guys. Yeah. Give, me, give anybody a million that dollars. Be, wow. Okay. Awesome. You can give me a million dollars about anything. Tell me to shut the fuck up and I'll be like, you know dollars? what? <laughs> They'll want to write for you some more. They'll want to do more work for you. You know, and yeah, I get it. He didn't create Bucky. He didn't create Cap. But, but he but created the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier character. Right. And we know that that movie is that Look, story. Bucky it's was like, never going to be in a movie unless he became Winter Soldier. Right. I mean, right. come on now. You know? So, oh well, whatever. I mean, it's, but, a, it's a sorry ass business. It is. You know, it when is. you keep reading and hearing about it more and more, you're just like, wow. <laughs> well, once again, I mean, like, in a, in a way, I, I hate to say it because it's like, I love Marvel and I love DC and I love WWE. But yeah. they when they get to that level, it's like the little guy gets yeah. fucked. Like the Twitch, right? They're like, you mm -hmm. can't have Twitch anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people say that's where they got a lot of money. Yeah. You know, so. But, yeah. yeah. You're not allowed to make your own, your own uh, fucking, you know, whatever. It, it's, it, it's all in the merchandising, man. And you got to. You gotta own those rights. You gotta own that to your to your own that image of yourself or whatever. Just you know do right, right, man. Just do right by the people who. I like you that this. you mentioned Kirkman too. That's a good example. I love him or hate him or say what we will about his writing. He owns the Walking Dead shit. That's his and shit. It's great. That's fucking I love badass. The series. Yeah. So. By the way, did you watch episode one? Yes, I did. I'm not through yet. Man, what, but what okay, I what okay, I saw okay, what okay. I where, where I'm at right now at my commercial break that I'm at in the thing. Okay. I'm like. This is fucking good. Uh, I was like, yeah. I like where yeah, we're yeah. at right here. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm say interested to watch more, which is what <laughs> you it should need be to. doing. You okay, need okay, to. I'm gonna get to it. Damn it! <laughs> and, I, and you know what? And I've managed to avoid spoilers, so okay, good. I'm gonna good. finish it tonight. I'm gonna good. finish it tonight. Okay. While I'm loading up this show. Probably. Okay, good. Uh, what are the last comments here? Uh, Rizzo says yes. Yeah, support indie comics. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, says, totally. Uh, ooh, uh, someone Oof. will oh, someone will sell theirs down the road, and, <laughs> and it'll, it'll be, be cheaper. cheaper. <laughs> the McFarlane signed, yeah, wow, twelve hundred, man, that's uh, too much. And if you can get it, you can get it. Uh, yeah, Bridge, get on the new Walking Dead, man. Uh, I'd love to hear what you thought. I know that me, you, Double A, Lucky, Angela we're like, King, we're like, like I a, said, ever since she's taken over the Walking Dead, it's been so much better. People are sleeping on it. I think people are sleeping because, on it. Uh, Scott, whatever his Gimple. fucking name, Gimple, yeah. he fucking ruined that series almost, I say. Yeah, man. But Angela King, ever since she took over, fucking ain't. Good shit. Good yeah. shit. All right, guys, let's get back into this All list right, we here. We got our heavyweights now. Uh, Riz, I want to hear some it, of your so. thoughts on this. Yeah, for sure. Uh... All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Read some comments and talk some shit. Did we talk shit. <laughs> did too. Uh, yeah, we talk. We talk Chris, some shit. Chris is like people, man. Ugh. Oh yeah, we talked a little Walking Dead during the break, guys. Go check too. it out on YouTube.com. Uh, not yet, not quite yet. Slash, just another Friday. Uh, probably, probably by tomorrow. Probably tomorrow morning. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. We're getting there. Uh, but yeah, check it out on YouTube to hear the full unabridged version. And we and we harp on on creator owned stuff too. And we love creator owned stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, just give guys, credit. If you create them. something, own it. If you create something, you own it. Make sure you own it. So that's that's what you got to do. Um, uh, but okay, double Where are we at in okay, DC? We, our DC versus Marvel matchups. We got our big guns now for DC coming out, mm -hmm. and we tried putting them with our big guns for Marvel. Okay, so third one, I guess, we'll say will be our women's match: Wonder Woman versus Captain Marvel, the Carol Danvers version. I think you put that Carol Danvers version. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so obviously the movies. Uh, super powered made her super powered again we talked about earlier about scarlet witch getting going throwing down with thanos or whatever with the gauntlet you know what i mean and being able to hang in there or whatever and that might just be him not using that properly probably so maybe because there's always debates on that too if, yeah if he's using the the gauntlet or not we mm -mm. i always assume once you have the gauntlet on but like I mean, you have some sort of the power. To but... me, if you have it on, you just sit back and on a throne, and then yeah. you don't even have to fist fight. I'm like, why I are he you? Was, I know he was missing like one, but still, I would just assume that having four would still be. Yeah, it's enough. almost like, what are you stupid? It's yeah. it's like the Green Lantern syndrome. It's like, why are you doing that? You have the <laughs> yeah. ring. You should just be like, yeah. That's a why good are you one. breaking a sweat? That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, like, but again. You have to ask yourself, if I had it, what would I be doing with him? Like, oh, use time, mind, power. Well, you know, he kind of gets smart where he pulls the power out when she's got him, yeah. and then he fucking whacks Danvers yeah. with it because he's like, damn, but, I need to hit this bitch But then it showed the right there that he wasn't using it. Right, right. <laughs> it, it did show that I was like, okay, he wasn't fucking using it. Yeah. He should have. Yeah. And when and, he grabbed it, that's when he used it. And so. it's almost like you need, like, you need, like, you need, like, 
Vision's abilities and Strange's abilities. You need the minds of all these people in order to use those that way. And see, that's the first thing I'll probably do is I would use the Mind Stone and expand my mind to be like, I want to know how to use this to the oh, utmost shit. of its abilities. Be like the leader. Yeah. <laughs> or or I'd be like Strange and I'd have like twenty of me and we'd each be doing something. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, why did he need an army of those ghouls or whatever? He could have just made an army of Thanoses and didn't. Been, whip. It didn't. Again. The ability to bend reality, what the fuck does that even mean or whatever, you know? I could make myself I mean, 10 beers right here. Exactly, you can do that. Not even that, I'm just like, hey, double A, you're drunk, and I'm drunk too. Exactly, like, that yeah. is, yeah. And what actually, Doctor Doom does do that in that Secret Wars, that what if, mm. when he has a gauntlet, he makes uh, Iron Man drunk all the time. Wow. He, he puts him like at a blood level where he can never function again. He goes, fuck. you're too dangerous, you're going to be fucking drunk the whole time. And he goes like that, and Iron Man is drunk. Damn, and he will never be able to. That's a, that's fucking yeah, hardcore. Yeah, I was like, wow, wow, that's pretty yeah. fucking cool. That was using the glove. <laughs> did you watch the new What If? By the way, I yes, know, I did. I yes, I'm, I'm up to date. No, no, no I'm up to date. Yeah, so. and we're gonna we will hash that up or whatever. We might need to do it in parts. I actually did like lot. that one a lot. That's I like been my favorite so far. Uh, oh, not so far. I love that second one. Okay, uh, yeah, but I I'm just loving that show. I love the animation. I love the voices. Like it's cool that they're able to get so some of them. good. Yeah, it's cool that they're able to get some of them. Yeah, it makes it so so much more like. Um, real like yeah. you know like they're they're yeah. doing a great job of tying that all together yeah. so anywho so we've got carol danvers captain marvel uh against diana prince uh, prince uh wonder woman wonder woman wonder woman uh i mean guys if you're movie fans of these two movies you can envision these two brie larson and gal gadot or even if you've seen the if you're a fan of the justice league cartoon uh you know how much of a badass wonder woman is Guys, so. Wonder Woman really is the second, I think, in yeah. DC. She yes. is yes. your... She's got speed. She's got power. She's got, uh, I mean, strength. strength. Durability. Yep. Durability is a huge power that people don't think about. It's your ability to take damage. How much are you, of a beatdown can you take? Can you take a beatdown from Thanos? Can you get shot with Omega Beams and survive? Can anybody get shot with that and survive? Yeah, yeah, there's one guy. Big blue. This guy right here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I don't mean me. <laughs> I mean the show. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're getting a shot with Omega Beams and surviving. Okay, extremely durable. And we just said that. We said the unspoken power people talk about, don't talk about about Superman. There's speed, there's flight, there's x ray vision, there's telescopic vision, vision, there's heat the vision. The cool breath. Superman's yeah. is, is, it's the indomitable kind of will, yep. though, is that, in and. He's he's gotten punch. He's blood. He's damn durable. Like Cap, he can do this all day. It's like, like what the fuck does it take? You know what I mean, Superman like he's, too. He took on three super uh, supermans. You know, <laughs> he's damn near unbreakable. So that's what makes him extremely formidable. Yeah. Is that you may think you he you know. Everyone thought he was dead after Doomsday, and it was like he wasn't really dead. He no. was like in like a Kryptonian coma, yeah. you know, because. Again, that's the durability of his body and his Kryptonian DNA. It's like, okay, shut down and repair. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, yeah. so he's not, it's it's almost like a healing factor in yeah. a ways. Um, but anywho, we're not talking about soup. We're talking about Wonder Woman versus Captain Marvel. Uh, I know that it's easy, very easy no. for us to think about the movie versions. And I was going to say, in the movie, obviously, that's a huge upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol has never been that strong. Mm -hmm. Rogue absorbed her powers in the comics. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Rogue's not... You know she's not she's not like that right she's you know at most she can maybe go one on one juggernaut but not not all the way juggernaut would probably end up beating her ass mm -hmm. in the movie version though captain marvel is just like she's, she's up there. almost like number one it seems like almost and i think they've upgraded her in the comics a little bit since because of the yeah movie. because of that because yeah. you know, i know she's part of that civil yes. war two thing yes. and she's definitely got some more pull to her now uh right? big time um but now you're talking about Wonder Woman, who's just always been established. I mean, from everywhere. If there's ever a big event, Wonder Woman's right next mm -hmm. to Superman. Uh, Kingdom Come, she's his very clear number two. Yeah, yeah. She's the one that pretty much enforces what, right. you know, that rule, you know, that the heroes try putting on. And what's cool know. about her, too, is that she doesn't seem to have a problem with killing either. Like, Wonder Woman is okay to go there. She's an Amazon princess, yeah. and she's... A warrior, so that's she's tall, part she's of strong, it. Mm -hmm. You know, a skilled fighter, very a, skilled fighter. They, they on Themyscira, they're just training to fight all the time. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't think that Carol has that. That's what lacks from Danvers. Is yes, she's an Air Force uh, uh, pilot, and she's awesome, and thank her for her service, and she's great. And I think she learned some stuff from the uh, who she learned from the Cree. Yeah, yeah. She learned some stuff from, from supposedly the Kree. Captain Marvel. Carp- <laughs> yeah, Captain Marvel. Um, and again, it's hard for us to base because it's like her power base obviously moved way up. It way, way the fuck up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But um, I'm going to say that even at her level, I think she'd barely be getting to Wonder Woman's level. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, I'd have to go Wonder Woman. Just too much experience. Yeah. Uh, too I, much hand-to-hand action would be Wonder Woman, big time. I feel like this one is very similar to me to what we did with Raven and Scarlet, yeah. where it's like there is potential, but it's not reached yet. Yeah. And we don't know when that's going to yeah. like happen and it's the same thing with this maybe you know captain marvel we saw some stuff in the movies that's what it showed us you know what i mean but i think we've you know they they've the the movies don't accurately display diana's power and uh what we've seen in like you know kingdom will come uh, she can go she can kind of go with superman uh yeah she can you know hang in there it's not going to be a sure when that again that movie that justice vs titans is a very good they show her when she gets you know she's going at it and she's uh she's a force so uh for me it's you know uh i love captain marvel i don't hate the movie like everybody else i like Brie oh, larson I, yeah it was weird i don't know where all the hate comes from yeah all that stupid i think she's a badass i loved that scene in endgame which shows up and it's cool like oh they incorporating it and all that um cool to have that if, if they make her like i would much rather have this overpowered or superpowered or extra superpowered captain marvel than i would have like a sentry or hyperion or anything <laughs> yeah. like fuck those guys man like give it to her that's cool like i do they want to make her the resident badass at marvel by all means but she doesn't beat wonder woman uh again i'm going wonder woman on that one yeah i'm gonna go uh wonder woman too excellent excellent all right double a are we okay this is uh our co-main event all right here we all go right. the co-main event and this is another one that's reached his more popularity because of the movies that we're at you know you mm-hmm. can actually put them against this guy yeah batman versus a black panther i like this one a lot uh and i want you to start first double a with some t'challa stuff because i know that you're a huge black panther fan of the comics not just of the movies and what the badass that the king of wakanda okay, is so do we need to even talk about batman or I mean, not that much, guys. Yeah. It's been said, and we've actually talked about him quite a bit without him even being in his fight yet. <laughs> okay, so Black Panther T'Challa, when his first appearance, took out the whole Fantastic Four by himself, Thing included. All right, this is when Thing was almost like at a seven. At Let me stop time. you. Let me stop you All real right. quick. In that version of T'Challa, is the Black Panther suit like like the movie? Like, is it like give him powers? Is he on that flower? No, actually, uh, yeah, you know what? He does have a, a little boost. I think it's from the the, the flower. flower. Okay, yeah. but still, I mean, this is a time when Thing was going one on one with the Hulk. Okay, yeah. this was a time when I Thing was a seven. Yeah, it was always like Hulk, Thor, Thing. Yeah, those were the three badasses for Marvel. Yeah, before they kind of depowered Thing. Yeah, later on, okay. which sucks that that happened to him, right? Because he's got the history. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's gone one on one against everyone okay. that there has been. He takes out the whole Fantastic Four. He's a really skilled fighter. Uh, the technology, obviously, of Wakanda can match whatever Bruce Wayne can bring. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever Bruce can think of, whatever uh, Lucius Fox can make him. Mm-hmm. You know, T'Challa probably has that already. <laughs> shit, I think uh, Lucius Fox is closet Wakanda. That's my shit right there. I think that's my opinion. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> The fighting, though, I don't know. I have to say it might be a little even. T'Challa's good, and he probably, because of the, the flower, he might have a little advantage over Batman. Yeah. But I would say it wouldn't be... But what I love, like, when he fights Killmonger, and again, I'm going to go with my movie stuff, they strip it out of him, and he's still a skilled fighter. And he's Okay, still... so are we going to do that with this one? I feel like if you say you take that away, so then, okay, well, then we gotta say, no, no, because Batman has his gadgets, right? He's got batarangs and shit like that. That's his tech. And, and, and we've seen T'Challa's got T'challa, his tech. Well, we, and we've seen T'Challa really doesn't use 
tech too much. Yeah. That's more Shuri. Shuri uses yeah. likes to use all. But the suit is neat where it can absorb it is, that it power. Can absorb and, me, ooh, yeah. It can absorb me. Yeah. Projecting absorbing. Like, yeah. Like that alone is a pretty potent. Yeah. E- even if it's just Batman punches him in the suit in the body shots, body shots, but he's he, absorbing he's it, it. Then yeah. he can and release he can, a bigger yeah. punch on him. It's going to hit him with some shit. You know I think I, mean? I think Black Panther is too much uh, for Batman. I think it, it's too it's too overwhelming. He's just as good of a fighter as Batman. Okay, let's for, for 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 the fucking fun sake of it, let's say that they are on that just a suit thing. He's just wearing a suit. No, no, no. Let's just say this. Let's say they're on that mountain side where 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 Killmonger and and uh, okay. and T'Challa fight, and they strip out the flower, and it's just. Batman and Bruce hand hand, or even even this better, T'Challa versus Bruce, the way that Bruce and the ninja fought in the volcano in the animated series. What do you got there? I have to go Batman. Ooh, see, I, I was counting on you to tell me about more of T'Challa's like hand to hand skills he's good. because I no, think he's, he's a, good. I think he's a, a, he's a very skilled fighter. He's good, but again, it's like I said, it's remember he's going at Cap in in Civil War, like he's not. There's but no again, fear, there's, man. There's a, you know, I always say Cap's not one that I usually put a whole lot of people over. Right. Batman, I have to say, I wouldn't put a lot of people over him. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, uh, it's true. I know yeah. we're kind of mixed on this one. I know you want to say T'Challa. I, want to I say know. Batman. I know. Uh, uh, no, but you know what? You've. You convinced me. That's a good argument. That's a hardy it, argument. It's I'm, hard, uh, but I mean, look, we're we're talking. We said we weren't going to take powers away. No. So if it's Black Panther versus Batman, tech Black with Panther tech. is going to whip his ass because he's and got that. That's the way I'm going to look at it. If it, was, if it was drawn on comic book form, if I got this Black Panther versus Batman, I'm going to say Black Panther all the way. Should be no problem. Easy. Yeah. So I'm going to say Black Panther. I give Black Panther the edge. But if we're stripping T'Challa, then. Yeah, but uh, we're not doing that. So I'm going to say Black Panther. I say this is a better match because I don't know that that flower makes T'Challa. Is is it like does it boost you up as much as Super Soldier Serum? Like I don't know because I don't I don't think that he's as strong as Cap. No. So this is why I like this matchup a little bit better with Batman because if if we just leave Black Panther alone, I'm going Black Panther. He he this this would just. Yeah. If we're just doing T'Challa, just regular T'Challa. But what do you think, though? Because Batman does fight a guy like Bane that's on juice. But see, even if we put like a Black Panther versus Bane, I'm going Black Panther. I feel like that, too. And it's like you said, the suit really helps a lot, too. All that punishment he's going to be taking from Batman, he's going to give it right back to Batman. But does he always have that suit? Like in the comics, not like that in the comics, right? Like. Like I, I know you saying he beat the Fantastic Four, so I'm, I'm curious like how he yeah, edged so, that out. That's and and cool. I would say too that, that Cuz Reed is a, fucking smart too. Well, and I think that, but he can take out thing. I mean that's Well, right. Yeah, the strength thing is solved. I I'm, I'm going to go Black Panther. I'm going to give this one to Black Panther. Uh I feel like I'm biased. Um I mean if, if we're doing Black Panther versus Batman, I'm going Black Panther. The draw? Got, do, you, do we call this a draw? It's hard. It's, it's hard. I don't want to. I don't want to give it a draw. Cause I do think that Batman. He might realize that you know, damn. I, every time I hit him, and when he hits me back, it's yeah, just as hard. Do? Right. Yeah. Cause you have to strike. Right. Yeah. You have got to do something or whatever. But he's got batarangs and shit like that. It can incapacitate him okay. potentially. Okay. You know, that's what happens to him. Right. He gets incapacitated in the Civil War. They. Zap him or something like yeah. that. And he's like, uh, well, Black Widow comes from behind. Right, right, yeah. So I'm, I imagine Batman's got some shocking shit in his utility belt or whatever. Yeah, but is he going to get behind T'Challa? I don't know. I don't know. Look, him and Snake Eyes went to a draw. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All right, but Black Panther, you know, is going to be going over if we're just doing Black Panther. Who do you give it to Snake Eyes versus Black Panther? Black Panther. All right. I'm gonna go Black Panther. You go to Panther yeah. or draw? No, I, 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 I feel like because that flower is there and it makes him a little bit more. Although Killmonger was whipping that ass pretty good, you know, <laughs> he got in there. and was like, "Is this your king?" 
I was like, oh shit, it's not looking good for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I know we're going to get a lot of shit because they're going to be like, y'all hate Batman. Y'all never yeah, give him a do. win. We do hate Batman. <laughs> but I said, no, but I said, if it's Batman versus like a Daredevil, Batman's going to win easy. Last week, literally the whole set was decked out in Batman, including myself and Amy. <laughs> there you go. But but again, there is that flower there, and why it might not make him cap level, it makes him stronger. So, and I know that Batman can beat guys like Bane yeah, and course. probably Clayface that are stronger. Of course, you know what I mean. But but, but those guys don't have what T'Challa has, right? The fighting ability, the fighting ability, the tech, yeah. the intelligence, the yeah. and he, you know what? Like it Bane, doesn't... When you show him going up against Batman, it's all about brute force most of the right. time. Right, that's what he's going yeah. with. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's doing the nineties Tyson, mm -hmm. going for the knockout. Mm -hmm. You know. Instead of that first one where he's actually outsmarting him. Yeah. You yeah. Because you've got to have skill too as yeah. well. And I think that uh, T'Challa also possesses something that I feel is a very Nightwing quality, which is uh, the that compassion part or whatever. There's the not... There's the not narcissistic part, which is the very linchpin of Batman in my personal <laughs> opinion or whatever. And that part is a fail. That's a lose. So... I stick with my answer. I'm okay with it. All right. In the final. In the All right, man. We This is a heavyweight matchup right here. The main event. The one and everyone's been here, you know, came to see. Let's get ready to rumble. The ultimate hero. The number one. Ranked pound for pound. All the time. Everyone's list. We Superman. literally were, as promoters, had difficulty finding an opponent worthy. <laughs> we were like... Fuck. Uh, what hasn't been done? What haven't we seen? What wasn't fan voted on? Uh, what wasn't expected? But also that we thought would be a good... We also wanted to give the public a good fight. So so we got Superman versus the Silver Surfer. Norin Rad from Zen Law. Superman from Krypton. Two aliens, not even of this earth. You know what? Maybe maybe we take this one off, or maybe we let them fight in space, though. Eh? How do you define both? Them? Earth is their adopted mm -hmm. home world. That's right. Okay. Um, Superman draws his power from the sun. Mm -hmm. Surfer draws his power from the power cosmic. Um, I feel like Surfer could have been everything that they have tried to make Captain Marvel in the movies and more. Yes. He should have yes. been. I don't know. There's all this like Sony Fox Marvel bullshit. But had that all been aside, because he's a, a primary character in the Infinity Gauntlet story. Yeah, he is. And and he'd always been, you know, if you go by the Marvel cards, you know, and I think the DC had one as well, too, at Man, one time. The rankings. Most of his shit was always on the sevens. Mm -hmm. Strength, speed. The, the intelligence, blast, the energy blast, yeah, energy blast. Yeah. I can't forget the one that was like regular durability was another that one. That was another was big like, one. He, he Which take, he could. He can take punishment. Because he doesn't need food or water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This would be a really heavy duty one because he can match Superman with the speed, and if he charges enough, he can match him with power. Right. Right. Um, it's really just going to come down to, I guess, who can really outlast the other one. Yeah, they can both take a beating. This both would be super a fifteen fast. rounder fight. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, Surfer's energy projection is also off the chart, but it's also how Superman going to react to that? Because like the power cosmic is, it's the power cosmic, you know. And as Stan has famously said. Ah, if you call it the power cosmic, it could be pretty much anything. And you're like, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You know what I mean? Like, what is it? Is it hot? Does it feel hot? You know, like, does it feel like, is it like the sun? Because that could potentially power him it's up. It's almost supposed to be like the ultimate power in the universe, almost. It's Galactus, what Galactus gave of himself to the Silver Surfer. But, but does that mean that, does that mean I have telekinesis? Does that mean I have it's shown know, that pyrokinetics? He, it's shown that he has it. It's, it's weird. It's it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? But we're going against, you know, Superman. Mm -hmm. Super speed, super strength, heat vision, mm -hmm. the cool breath. Um, it feels like most of those aren't going to do a lot to Surfer. Because he really turns up the heat vision, because it could pierce Doomsday skin. Yeah, but Surfer can fly through suns i'm sure right i mean i've never seen him do that okay maybe i could be wrong i could be wrong um 
Okay, but the speed, you could probably avoid it, potentially, you know. Uh, it's funny because, like, in Justice League, the movie, obviously, he's seen Flash. Mm-hmm. That's so, true. And Flash is supposed to be the strong, the fastest. Yeah. Which I, I agree on. Flash should always be way faster than Superman. That's, right. That's his whole fucking power. Especially when you're, like, tapping the speed force or whatever. <laughs> it's like, all right, like, I guess probably that's something, an additional. So, like, I think the speed, maybe Superman has the advantage on that one. Okay. Interesting. That's Their fighting experience, I say it would be equal because they're both not fighters. Naturally, you know, Norman Rand was a scientist, right? You know, and Superman's not like a kung fu master. <laughs> you know, he, he we we always said he's not on Batman's level when it comes to fighting. Yeah, like if it was just depowered, Batman would kick his ass. Although they've kind of tried to talk about. See, I have difficulty with that only because he's a been fighting so long. And you would think so. That's why I was like, you you would think you know, would, but um, they oh every time he gets like depowered, he always gets his ass kicked by everybody. <laughs> I'll say this: He slugged it out with Ali, and I think Ali would beat Batman in the boxing fight. <laughs> That's me. But but no, but see, they say that there is this Kryptonian like not, not karate, but Kryptonian like fighting style or whatever uh, okay. too. And okay. you know, I don't know if this is just writers trying to write in him in some other skills or whatever, you know. But it's like I told you, like when Steve got depowered or whatever, and that he still that, had the... he still because he's like I've been doing this for sixty yeah. years or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like okay, like Superman's. And he's fought a variety of opponents, too. So it's like, you know, they're not always all just punching bags or whatever. And I mean, like, you know, now I will say this. Nine times out of ten, he can hit something really hard. He's going to knock it out because he's Superman. You know, but that's not going to happen with the surfer, per se, unless he catches him off guard, maybe. I mean, you know. It's hard because some of the powers of the surfer are, like, not quantifiable. Like, they're not definable. Like, what is it? And seeing the thing is, for me... I would give this one to Superman mm -hmm. because I've seen Surfer where he can hang with some people, but he always has to kind of get more energy. Mm, and, like draw from... Yeah, and so after a while, if he didn't do that, Superman would just wear him out, and I think he would KO Surfer. Okay. Superman has... I mean, man, he's battled the whole Justice League and yeah. kicked their ass. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, I'm the biggest Surfer fan. Like, if Wolverine's not my favorite Marvel guy, it's definitely <laughs> got to be the Silver Surfer. I got a huge poster of him hanging on my wall. I, I think he's amazing. And, like, uh, even if we put Superman against Hulk, I would go Superman. Yeah, I, I feel like that's even more in Superman's favor. Like, because I'm like, we're, we're lessening our chances if we're Marvel side. And I say this because, like, look, no one's ever really drawn Superman, but his speed alone... He should get close enough to, the, like, the Hulk surfer where he should, be like, pound the fuck out of him real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, he should land at least 10 punches, 10 hard punches before the Hulk would even react. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then Hulk would be like, oh, shit. You've got you know? him literally being able to, like, dive bomb multiple yeah. times at a They've guy. They've never really shown him where he could run around in a circle punching, you know, surfer, Hulk, yeah. everywhere. And that's like, hey, don't forget ribs. the flight. Like, we don't yeah. ever talk about the flights. Like, Hulk can't fly, whatever. If he dive bombs you, or, you know. But can you imagine how slow the Hulk would be for Superman if he's trying to throw a punch? Mm -hmm. Superman, if he's really on, he was going to just see, like, this punch going like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Just By like that time, the flash. Yeah. He can go and fucking just uppercut the Hulk. There's there's even things like I was thinking too. I was like, man, but, but Surfer's not gonna have. He's got, you know, may, potentially equal speed, but uh, again, it might come down, like you said, to the durability. Like if they end up slugging it out, I think he's gonna wear Surfer down too much because the Hulk usually doesn't have a problem with Surfer. Mm -hmm. And I think Superman with the speed, the durability, just his power. I yeah. mean, golly, Superman, I can't really think of a character that's stronger than Superman. Yeah. Well, Unless we, they have an advantage somehow, like Captain Marvel, Black Adam with right, magic. Right. Thor with magic. Right. And that's the only reason why I had bought Thor up. Yeah. Because I was like, well, he has magic. So he can potentially hurt Superman. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, I there's some weird ones at Double A. I was like, what about Black Bolt? I was like, you know, like the voice could like, wouldn't that burst Superman's head? Because... The tiniest whisper of it blows people away, but yeah. he's got super hearing, so it's almost a disadvantage. But 
I mean, I literally feel like Superman could probably... Because, see, he did that with the Hulk, and the Hulk went through Black Bolt. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so then there's that, yeah. Um, and then he would probably just crush his throat. <laughs> he could do, yeah. Just enough where Black Bolt would never be able to use it. With the speed, too, yeah. Uh, or he could just go like that. Power. Right, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and like, I had even mentioned Strange. I was like, Strange with the magic. Maybe and it's he funny could, because, you know? like, in that... In that Spider Man Superman crossover, like he goes like this is Spider Man and he just lets like the wind hit him and it fucks <sighs> up Spider Man bad. Yeah. You know, and that's a Spider Man I think is stronger than Black Bolt. Oh wow, physically. Or if nice. not they're that. if not they're equal. Interesting. Wow, uh, I thought he was uh, up there more with physical. No, because Glad remember I told you Gladiator kicked his ass pretty good. Oof, that sucks. You know he didn't use the voice on him though. Huh? No, he didn't, but still when it came to physicality, Gladiator just so that's where they're, man, I would just be using that. I mean, I know he can't use it all the time because it, like, explodes you, but. What's that, like, a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, a little, a little but taste. for me, I, man, I have to go Big Blue, and there's, you can go through Marvel's number one, number two, number three, and I'm just going to say Superman's just going to beat their asses. Yeah. He's just super fucking strong, super fucking fast, you know, so I. There's not anyone I can think of that can really beat Superman. Yeah, I mean, we had a hard time booking it because we were like, uh, he's quite formidable. The Hulk would just be too slow. Uh, they don't always show him using the full scope of it. And, and I'm that's like, the and problem. if you did, because you know what? In fact, I don't think um, in that, they don't, in, in most of the shows, they never show, show him using the breath. Oh. Even the animated no, one. And I'm like, oh, I right Superman then I would have done two, that. I think was the only one that I'd ever shown him. Yeah. Really. Yeah. But he uses it in three because he freezes that look. Oh, yeah. And that one was cool. Yeah. That was, and I, yeah. I remember I was talking about that part and Amy goes, Amy goes, what's that in? And I go, that's in Superman three. And she's like, I want to see that. I never seen that before. And I was like, oh, you missing now? And I'm like, there's, <laughs> again, there's cool shit in there. It's like, it's like when you have him using his full range of powers or whatever you know what i mean it's gonna be tough now now potentially double a with the power cosmic could could surfer suck out the sun's power like the the life he's said it before and it's still not really that big of a deal interesting he's drawn power from the start yeah and he's kind of big but i don't think it'd be enough but i'm saying like out of superman could he well i guess he'd have to know he was drawn based on sun no i don't think so uh, guys, we're up at the last break. We're going to take a quick break, uh, a, a quick blip. We'll come back and we'll finish it out maybe in like 10, 15 minutes. It'll be a little yeah, bit longer. Yeah. So uh, we'll do that right now. All right, guys, if you're here hanging out with us, so a few comments came in. Maybe one or two of you guys hanging out. Who we got here? Is it Rizzo just hanging out with us? Riz, we appreciate you. Oh, he says Gimple, man. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> He says, hey, but uh, free drinks, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> he says, absolutely, the suit gives him the edge. Yeah, and then he says he agrees. With, okay, on, on this. Uh, Killmonger was hungry for that fight. He prepared for uh, for whole life for them. True. Yeah, very true. He says, great debate, guys. I have to pay attention uh, for my wife for a bit. I'll catch y'all later. Uh, great show, by the way. Lots of fun. And again, nice to see you back, though. Thanks, Stay Chris. invincible. Thank you. You too, Chris. Thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shirt. I love it so much. And I cannot wait to wear it. Most likely tomorrow. Uh, that's it for the comments, Double So we'll just wait for this to load up. So you think, I mean, uh, we'll come, we'll say it when we come back. But we're, we're giving this one to Superman. Guys, if anyone's hanging around, what do you think about the creator own stuff? Are you in favor of it? I think we should even do an episode about this. That's interesting. <laughs> and really dig man. deep. I, and... I I would because you, know, you I mean? know there are guys like Kirby, man. I mean he's him and Stan should be on equal footing. They're the ones who created Marvel. And, I mean, and you got to ask yourself too. You know, I mentioned Pee Wee Herman and I mentioned Elvira, and they're as big as they come. They do the con yeah. scene or whatever, yeah. but but maybe they would have. Been bigger, double. There's not that many Elvira movies. There's not that many people here. No, but, but, but maybe people don't like that they own their own shit. No, they want to you know own what? them. Every time Elvira comes out with something, her shit sells out. Yep. When there's a counter, she just it sells did a out. she just did a comic book thing. Uh, a thing with Vincent was, Price sold it, out. It had to it had to make so much. Yeah. It makes it in like a couple of days. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's asking for like a lot. Like it's she like is over a lot. over a hundred thousand. Yeah. An you know, autographed copy of her book was like fifty bucks, and I think it sold out. Yeah. You know what though? I feel like that's an okay price. Yeah. I'd probably pay that I or whatever. I would have bought that too for it. And when you get 20 guys like us, you know, there you, go. There you go. It's like, there you, go. you know, but again, and it, it helps me to know 
that goes towards her. You know what I mean? Like she's the creator. She's gonna get some. I'm sure she has people to pay and stuff sure, like that, whatever. Sure. But it's like the main part. She's but, her but own man, industry. The money, the income she has to be coming in is probably a great enough amount where she's like, you know what? I'm comfortable. I don't need this extra, you know, bullshit for the money to go somewhere else. Right. You know, I'm right. living comfortably. So I mean. Oh, and I'm sure she's had offers probably from, you know, big studios yeah. that say, hey, let us buy out the Elvira thing. And they want to probably put someone else in a wig and a costume. Yeah, and, I know. yeah and they say no. But, um, yeah, I think, it's I think that's a great, topic. I think that's yeah. a great, uh, it's a great show topic yeah. idea, man. I would love to talk about that some more. We have to do some research and find out some more creator owned stuff, whatever. But I love how you brought up um, uh, Kirkman. Yeah, I mean, man. He has to be a literal a empire. A literal yeah. empire. Kevin Smith always gives him so much props. Whenever, uh, you know. Rob Liefeld has always said that if it wasn't for Robert Kirkman, image probably wouldn't be in the state that it's in. Wow. That image was slipping pretty good. And Robert Kirkman came in with the two franchises and kept image. Invincible as and that one. Yeah. Wow. Especially the Walking Dead property. I'm sure. I'm sure. So, Still going strong. Yeah. Love the Walking Dead, man. Love the Walking Dead. And there's so so many spinoffs. That are still coming out from The Walking Dead, even when this Did is that over. Did that world end or whatever finish already? It or? finished the first season and it's supposed to be coming out. And then Fear okay. The Walking Dead is already going to be coming out next month okay. too. So I need to watch just like the highlights of those. I like, so what too. are they about? I don't know. Enough yeah. to get me like yeah. uh, fill me in like, yeah. a YouTube video, but I don't want to watch the whole the whole <laughs> ones. All right, let's get it going. Double A and round this one out. Okay, guys, thanks so much for listening on audio to sit through that little uh, snippet or whatever. Uh, we read through some quick comments. Uh, Rizzo had to take off, and uh, his wife had had enough of us, <laughs> uh, understandably. But uh, we appreciate him being here and hanging out. Uh, so, guys, our last fight of the night was Superman versus the Silver Surfer. Our heavyweight Surfer. fight. The main event. We gave it by a very little bit to Superman. And we I want to say it really did come down to what we say is the always unspoken power of his, which is the durability, and that the guy can take and take and take. And if he feels like he's fighting for something... He's near impossible to beat because he's got purpose and he is who he is. So with that, Double A, what's the tally? What have you got it at? Is it very a, close? And our Marvel versus DC. This ain't no fan voting, y'all. This is our picks here. This is how we see it coming out. And uh, in our nine battles that we had, Marvel edges out DC five to four by one, barely. Barely, the 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 skill could have easily gone the other way. In fact, we almost thought maybe Surfer could have edged out over Superman, and he was our best bet, I think, against him. And, uh, and yeah, and I think so too. But uh, man, Superman is just overwhelmingly strong. Yeah, uh, he has a arsenal of powers that no one really puts together a lot. They really should show his speed. Mm -hmm. They really should show him fucking someone up instead of him doing a punch and that guy flies away. And, right. You know, he should be punching that guy, catching him, slamming that guy, yeah. punching him up again. It's like he doesn't combine the powers all together. That's kind of how the Dragon Ball guys fight. That's what Almost, I you like about yeah. that is that they move like that, which is yeah. like, that's how but, I you would know, do say it. Say he's fighting someone like a Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel shouldn't fly away with one punch. He should be able to take it like a regular punch from Superman because yeah. he's... Captain Super Marvel. powered as well, right? Right, right. So him going against a, a Captain Marvel, you should be like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know, before even like Captain. Well, Captain Marvel should be fast too, but you know, someone like a Doomsday mm -hmm. that really shouldn't have been as bloody as it should have been. No, you know, he should have really been breaking Doomsday's bones right all over the place. Yeah. You know, yeah. Doomsday's not fast. He was supposed to be like a Hulk. I, I always feel though too, and this is another thing that I feel as though Superman fights with this. Since he doesn't know most of his opponent's breaking points, he's always holding back. He's always like, well, I don't want to kill them. Now, imagine if he was at the thought of like, I'm, I absolutely want to kill you. It's like, that's a whole different Superman. That Superman's hitting well, with a power that's... Yeah, then that becomes Omni-Man. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. That's who that becomes. Exactly. You know? or, I'm or a Zod. Mm -hmm. you know? That's who that becomes. Yeah. Or a Homeland? Homelander. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Homelander. And that's what Superman doesn't do. And that's why we don't ever fully what, know this. What we see in the boys is potentially what Superman could be, honestly. Just fucking melting a big old crowd of people with heat vision. That's not, it's not uh, good. What it's he did with good. that Daredevil character when he smacked his ears. Oh, yeah. And that fucking dude's probably brains exploded all over the place in his head. You right. Know? 
Right, the blind guy. That was yeah, like the blind guy. guy. Yeah, when he fucking like, smacked him, man, you just see all that blood just pouring down from the ears. You know, and that was a Homelander probably didn't hit him hard enough to no, actually just, just crush his fucking yeah. head because he yeah. could have easily crushed his head. So when he crushes which, that guy's head in the alleyway, I was like, so Fuck. what you see in the boys is probably what potentially Superman could do. Yeah, remember, Superman doesn't want to kill. He doesn't really kill. So that, I mean, you know, that does not kill. He, we've seen him kill, but he doesn't kill. It's like, you know, uh, so when he meets a new opponent or whatever, he's not going to hit you at full strength because he doesn't know he doesn't that'll know. fucking take yeah. your damn head off. And he's <laughs> like, oh, fuck, now I'm a goddamn murderer. Like you said, he doesn't even touch Spider Man. He lets, like, the impact of the punch he's throwing punch Spider Man and fucking knocks him out. Superman's like a guy that's like, if you're playing with a, a little a little baby kid or whatever, <laughs> you're not hitting them as hard as you can. You're, you know, you're tossing them, you're playing with them, but you're always at a very cautious level or whatever. <laughs> now, you know, I can't even imagine that, I guess if that kid decided to start hitting you and was hitting you with the force uh, of like a truck, uh, and then you were like, okay, now I need to unleash. It's like, then you're going to see, but Superman almost never does that because that's not his goal. You know what I mean? His goal isn't to murder or kill or hurt or anything like that. So, very, very, you know, you're always getting a held back Superman. <laughs> you know what I mean? But do we agree that in Marvel, there's really not anyone that can really take him down? Uh, I do agree with that, despite not knowing I mean, that if much we debated, about... If we debated him and Hulk, if we debated him and Thor, him and Surfer, him and Carol from the movie... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is there anyone that stands a chance? Dark Phoenix, does she stand a chance? Again... It's it's hard for me to fully understand her scope of powers or whatever because I'm like, what is it? Like, what is what is what it can you do? Well, she was able to eat a whole star and destroy a galaxy. Again, I feel like you know he's so durable, he's so durable. Like, what what is that? What is she using to do that? Like, you know what I mean, like, I think if it were to get to a fist fight, Superman would beat the shit out of her. Yeah. I think what makes her dangerous is just the other ability she has. Right. It's like if you say, okay, Superman versus Thanos with the gauntlet. Okay, well, he could turn Superman into a puddle. He whatever. could if he wanted to, okay. yeah, if he really used it right. I mean, yeah, then then he's, you know, well, he's a puddle <clears throat> now, so what the fuck? I mean, you know what I mean? Or make him into a marshmallow man or something like yeah. that. It's like, if you're using it right, you could do whatever, you know what I mean? But So, yeah, at that point, then, yeah, I mean, you would say Thanos will win, but it's not right. like an actual, like... One on one fight, he's using the power of a god. Yeah, it's the same thing with like. Okay, what about someone like Wanda, who is magic, or like, Ooh. like, like Ooh. Strange, where they're you know, you know, we see Strange do that thing with Dormammu, where he's like winding back time, and then you know, it's like. But see, that's what the the see that's the thing with the, the eye. eye of they made it into an actual Infinity Stone. Yeah, that's what I didn't like about that. So yeah. it's not really even the Eye of Agamotto. Right. You right. Know? So he's just using the time stone. So it's more like we need to see how his magic alone stands up against Superman. Which we've seen that Superman can get around. Mm -hmm. It hurts him. It cuts him. Mm -hmm. But he can get around it in a way. Yeah. Now, Strange, yeah, he can do this, but would he be fast enough to dodge Superman? That's what I was thinking. Like, when he's going to try to cast or whatever, I'm like, uh, if he gets to you so quick, then, and that's the thing. It's like, that's the speed. You know what I mean? Like if they really do it right. He could see. He could see before Strange could even whisper. He could see your mouth beginning yeah. to open. He could hear it. The, then that's when the he's like edges Ooh. of your lips yeah. cracking open if he wanted to, because he's probably become so attuned to facing various opponents that you know, and he can see hands, eyes. Are you doing something? Are you reaching for something? Are you reaching for whatever? Are you an ice wielder? Are you a whatever? And he's so quick and adept. It's like. I don't really see it happening. <laughs> what if he does grab Strange's hands and fucking crushes them for good this time? The, uh, the Hulk, the Hulk move from uh, <laughs> you know? Planet Hulk. I know that one, right? Yeah, World, or is it World, War, World War Hulk. World yeah. War Hulk. Yeah. 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 There's definitely uh, that. There's no smells you can do if your hands are fucking dust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Certainly. You remember that Harry Potter? I think it's Chamber of Secrets where he takes out Harry's bones. And it's like, oh shit! Now I don't remember that one. <laughs> that's where strange it would be if Superman got a hold of his head. Yeah, yeah. Now see, that's where you come into that other question: Can you cast without having to move your fucking hands around? I've shit, always right? seen him. Wanda uh, too. Wanda's always moving her hands around or whatever. You know what I mean? So, and I think when it comes down to it, I think the speed again. I think she they wouldn't yeah. even see Superman coming. And them too. They might hit him with some magic stuff, and they might hurt him. They don't hurt. But yeah. but 
But once you do it once, and it yeah. didn't knock him out, then you're in trouble. Yeah. Now he knows. Yeah, you're like, now it's oh, like, fuck. <laughs> grab the hands, <laughs> yeah. grab that mouth, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you're in trouble. So he's just too he fucking fast, man. Grabbing the mouth and then just shooting his heat vision. Ooh. Even a small dose. Yeah. See, now, that's the bad thing about putting him against people like Black Bolt, Wanda, Strange. They, yes, they're they're just regular. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're just not. They're regular people. So at least when we did Surfer, that's a good one. That's someone that's got like some. They can take the He's going to take some of the power. Yeah. And he may even be able to revert, reflect it, and deliver back. I'm not saying that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think they Surfer, would slug it out. Surfer will get his punches in for mm -hmm. sure. But I think after a while, those punches from Superman are just going to be like, ow. Right. <laughs> That fucking hurts. Right. And after a while, it's going to wear you down, wear him down, wear him down. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. What was the... Uh, I love it. I love it. I'm okay with it. And again, it could have easily gone the other way because it could have been Batman over T'Challa and that would have been the one that turned the tide. But here's the thing, guys. You know, the Justice League, we, we had their top three people in the top three, whatever. You know, it's hard to even say really who Marvel's top three are, would you say? I mean, it was like, that one time it was Hulk, Spider Man, Wolverine. And even then, compared to Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, <laughs> that's not a good big three at yeah, all. Yeah. Wolverine against Batman, okay, Wolverine. But then Spider Man against Wonder Woman, no. Uh, Hulk against Superman, no. That's Superman and Wonder Woman. And does it make for interesting reading? Yes, because the characters are vulnerable. But because they're and vulnerable, even if you they're not a match. This new for... big three, who would the, the movie big three be? Cap, Thor, and Iron Man. I mean, again, it's like Wonder Woman could crush Iron Man. Cap can probably beat Batman, but then Superman will kick the shit off Thor. Yeah, I feel like that's still the. I feel like they really have built. They built up Captain Marvel in the movies, and they built up. I guess they're now building up Wanda. Shit, Loki seems pretty powerful. Come to think of it, we could have given Loki maybe a match in there. Would have been would have been uh, interesting to see how it turned out. But see, who who though? Doctor Fate for who? Loki. I don't know enough about strength, him to say. At strength, Loki is a five. Mm -hmm. At strength, so yeah. he's not really going to slug it out with anyone. That's not his forte, anyways. Yeah, no. his forte is always magic. Although this one does fight a little bit in the Loki show, the the Tom Hiddleston version. Yeah, a little bit, but not. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's like the the badass that that he's the one right. that you got to worry about. You right, know? right. Like Sif is a better fighter than he is. Yeah, he's no Sylvie. Sylvie's the one with the yeah. moves, or, but but um, yeah, you know what? I'm comfortable with our picks, and I think that what we do was it. Now, now, double. What was the one that Rich threw out at us so we can address it? Oh, it was Thor versus Black Adam. Oh, which, I like that. Uh, man, that's another big heavyweight. Rich, fight. we didn't forget about it, so we're going to address it here and now. Now, I know you're a big fan of both of these both characters. Of them. Yeah, and it's really hard. Uh, I think this is a great match, Rich, and we didn't forget about it, so we want to definitely talk about it. But how do you see that one going down? See, that's line? the thing again. Um, he's just like Thor. Black Adam, he can take the punishment as much as Thor can. Okay. Uh, they can strength, speed. Yeah, are there and, durability? Yeah, big time durability. Uh, fighting Thor. ability. Yeah, because he's an ancient Egyptian. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hali. Uh, Black Adam though is one of those fighters that again that's really driven. Doesn't okay. care if he kills or not. He okay. really doesn't. He's kill. He has a. Big kill list, you know. Okay. Of guys, he he's not worried about that at all. So he'll go at Thor full strength. Thor uh, can go that way. I feel like it's similar to the other situation we had. Yeah. In you know what I mean? Now, what about Mjolnir? That does. That helps. That helps, I would think. But then he's got his lightning bolts too. Okay. Where does his power come from? The same one as. Okay. Okay. So it's not not the like we're not the wizard. Captain Marvel uh, gets his from like the Greek, the Greek <coughs> gods. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Adam gets his from the Egyptian gods. Oh, that's fucking cool. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's like Thor, the Norse mythology. You know? Okay. Uh, golly. <laughs> And you got it pretty locked. It's pretty locked up there. That's a good one, Rich. That's a really good one. I'm surprised we neither one of us came up with that one ourselves. Um, if I didn't think of Black Adam, the reason is probably because I don't feel like I had enough knowledge base on the character to say, you know, how he would fare against. Uh, I mean, almost Thor. an evil Superman himself. Too, yeah, that, you can and say, that, and that that in itself is scary because that's what we just said. Where Superman? That's what I'm saying. He's a does evil Superman. Back. Yeah, tough. That's a tough one. Um, 
I'm gonna go Thor, but it's because I'm biased. And I, I feel, feel like I know more. And Black Adam. I so we like one split. Yeah. This isn't on our list, but this is a good one from the Friday Nighters from Friday Night or Rich. Uh, I said split. You split. You split. You divided the team on that one, Rich, because I say Thor. Double Aces, Black Adam. Uh, it's a hell of a fight, though. I'd love somebody yeah. to write it, and Man, I'd love to read it. I would it. love to. And I'd yeah. love to read how they creatively resolved it. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're only going to see more of Black Adam coming soon. And so yeah. uh, once they display yeah. that. I can't wait for that movie. Uh, I'm sure The Rock and Chris Hemsworth would like to mix it up. So they well, I hate what they did good. with the Thor character in the movies. but Fat Thor? Yeah. I think he's going to Just him late. being funny, too, and everything. Oh, I, okay. I hated what they've done with the Thor. But still formidable, I think, because they yeah, showed that in, yeah. in, in Infinity War and Endgame, yeah. you know? So I like I like that aspect of him. Like, you know, there's that scene when he shows up on the lightning, and it's fucking awesome, yeah. you know? Still yeah. fighting Surtur, you know what I mean? That's yeah. cool. So, yeah. um, Anything else, Double A? Final thoughts on, uh, on the topic? We like both characters, but it's just there were so many in that old DC versus Marvel where we're just like, man, that, that shouldn't have happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's like we're just looking at it from a fanboy perspective. <laughs> yeah. You know, they'll, totally. I mean, they'll take it from a grain of salt, you know. Totally. Everyone's got their opinions. Everyone's had I this mean, conversation. At one point, you know, like I said, Captain Marvel wouldn't even be on this list probably if it wasn't for the movies. Yeah. And we were going to put... What are some of the other matches we potentially had? I know I have a... I, I had have, potentially... Uh, I have a list you have, now. you have yours? No, I don't have it. I, don't know. I thought it was in there. I, I don't know what this was. Oh, no, here it is. Look, okay. I also had... Here it goes. I had... Um, I had Nightwing versus Daredevil. Because I like Billy Club versus Billy Club. You know what I mean? Uh, I had Batman and Iron Man could have been one. Because, you know, rich guy with tech versus rich guy with tech. You know? I had Hulk and Doomsday. I would have gave that to Hulk. I think it would have been, you know, kind of one sided. I had uh, Thanos versus Darkseid. People always like that one. I just thought about that one. I had Punisher versus the Joker because I said I wanted to I give that one. I wanted to give the Joker a villain that wasn't like Batman, but yeah. with the same amount of ability. I'm like, here's a guy that's gonna go. And all the way. I would have got Punisher, and he would have blown fucking Joker's head off. Uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. He would, and Joker would have been like, oh, didn't see that coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I have Surfer and Darkseid because Surfer fought Thanos so much. Uh, how do you feel Omega Beam's fair against the power cosmic? Uh, again, I'd have to go Darkseid. Wow, see, I don't like I don't like that one. I feel as though there's something to Surfer that could hold up to it. I had actually had Hulk versus Darkseid because I think Hulk can actually take a more, and I think he would crush Darkseid. Wow, interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. an interesting because uh, Hulk is assessment. durability. I think it's a lot better. And he would just get pissed off and pissed off and pissed off to where I think he would overwhelm Dark Side. And take Dark, take Dark Side apart. Okay, Bad. interesting. Yeah. I yeah. have this one, and it's just it's random, but I have Flash versus Nightcrawler. Because Flash is Flash, but Nightcrawler can teleport. So it's like it's quicker than a move in a sense. Maybe. 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 Unless he catches and, you. See, against my Flash, against Flash, I have Black Bolt. Okay. Because I, like I think that. a Whisper, all he would have to say is stop. And yeah, I think it would fuck up Flash bad, real bad. I would like where to Flash see that. wouldn't be able to move, and he would charge up his punch and knock the fuck out of Flash. I always imagine him saying it like loud. He he never or that too. You know, I don't care. Stop! It would yeah. be like Pfft. he was exploding. And, like, yeah. just his skin ripped right off of his yeah. bones. And yeah, because Flash, to besides dust. his ability, I think he's just a normal dude, right? I guess there's something there's special that. about Flash, yeah. strength wise. He gets shot in the yeah, <laughs> that one. That's what I'm saying. So, so. <laughs> uh, I put this because only because they build them up. But Doctor Doom versus Lex Luthor that would have been awesome just to see what happens. Awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, tell me what you think about these two. It's uh, Hercules versus Wonder Woman, and if I didn't have that one, I had Hercules versus Shazam. Hercules versus Wonder Woman. Because at one time, I gotta too, go Wonder Woman. Okay, I was gonna say at one time too, Hercules was a superpower. Yeah, seven. Yeah, I know. And then I had him versus Shazam. How do you think that would go now? Hercules uh, versus Shazam. I gotta go Shazam. Okay, I okay. think there's too many is powers. It, is it? Uh, would it be a close fight or Captain Marvel overwhelms Hercules? I think that they. I think in both fights they start slugging it out and it feels equal with with Wonder Woman and Shazam, but then Wonder Woman and Shazam, they go into the well for their other powers and it overwhelms them. Okay. And then I had this one too because I was thinking Wakanda, Mm -hmm. Black Panther versus Brainiac. If he had the check of Wakanda versus Brainiac. Man. 
my mind right away, and they say go with your instinct, just said Brainiac right away, like because he's so cunning, and it's like. You know he would love that Wakanda. Uh, yeah, I know he would. Yeah, it's tough, man. That's I. I think Brainiac on that okay. one. Okay, then I had. Uh... Oh, I had Surfer versus Martian Manhunter. I'm a, I'm a Martian Manhunter fan. So. I don't grasp his full scope of powers. He's so... a seven though. Okay. For sure. Uh, can phase in and out. Okay. Uh, he has a fear of fire though. For some reason, he has a fear of fire. I'm going surfer all the yeah. way on that one. Yeah, uh, not, not even a, a, a doubt. And then um, I had Thanos versus Lantern. Ooh, how do you feel on that one? With I think that's actually a good being matchup. The green laugh, I think it's okay. a good matchup. Okay. I think Lantern can hold his own all right. against Thanos. All right. Very nice. Oh, Alfred oh, in the house. Yo, oh, yo. <laughs> he says, he says, great show idea. He says, what about Flash versus oh, Flash. Quicksilver? Sorry, Very Alfred. nice. Yeah, we got to go Flash. Quicksilver. Let's speed Force, brother. Yeah, Quicksilver is not. He's, he's too slow for Flash. Alfred, how was the first uh, Collector's Cove show? Please let us know. Uh, feel free to drop a link and plug that. Uh, we'll probably both be going back to watch the video and see if there's any... A bones left for us to pick. Uh, I'm notorious now for calling you out on, on checking the, the auction one time during a podcast. Uh, oh, I, was like, yeah. I was like, I know it's good, but yeah. damn, we're doing a show here. I want to be on too. So, Alfred, we hope that it went well for you. We hope you had success. Uh, and again, we I'll be checking the video hey, Alfred, for sure. In case you didn't it. see it, I got this at uh, Barnes. It's the first seven issues and a one shot of Raphael. Very nice. And then uh, I recommended this one pretty highly. It's a graphic novel biography of Jack Kirby. I love that they did it that way, too. I did, too. It was very funny and enjoyable. palatable idea. It was. It really was. But, uh, yeah, guys, also go check out uh, Collector's uh, Cove uh, now on their page. And they did a live auction tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we compete for a time slot. I also saw that Javi from Atomic Comics was going to go oh, live yeah. with an unboxing of uh, uh, the CGC. CGC. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, damn it. I was like, Friday, yeah. Friday's where it's at, guys. But, yeah. uh, you know, all good. We wish success to all of you guys with what, what you're uh, working on or whatever. So we hope that everything went well. And we'll definitely, like I said, be checking the video. I'll be checking both videos. Uh, Collector's Cove Corpse. Excuse me. I'm sorry uh, oh, for that. I Nova Corpse the, the or page. Green Lantern Corpse? Ah, uh, Nova Corpse <laughs> or Green Lantern Corpse. That's a, good, that's a good fight. I think I wrote that oh, one down on my Lantern. list somewhere. The Green Lantern. All but, uh, yeah, the Collector co Collector's <laughs> oh. Cove Corpse. Go join it. Sign up. Join the core. Become one of the... One of the uh, the the folks in there that gets to watch Alfred's great great auctions uh, went great. Uh, Stray Dogs is super hot, and I'll do a Saturday show soon. Right. Yes, you know that we'll be there, man. We love to to bid, and I can't wait till you put together that live show. I know you're working with the Level Up people in Rolling Oak Small, and uh, it'd be fun to be there with actual paddles and be me and Double A be <laughs> trying to bid. But you got to talk fast with the micro machine guy. You got to be like, <laughs> if you're not going like that, Alfred, it's not going to be, not going to be as good. <laughs> and we're happy that you're well. Also, we mentioned at the top of the show, but I know you're probably prepping your show. So, um, super glad that you're well, as is double A. Um, but uh, end of September for that show. Great. We can't wait, man. Can't wait. That's going to be so much fun. That'll be good. Hopefully things are feeling more safe by then or whatever so yeah. he says uh you yeah. see you're training you're training yeah i know i know you said ekman's was hard on you i saw on your uh well when, when we were both on collecting weekly this week when alfred showed up and then he popped in and then he popped out and he, he didn't say bye and we were all like where's alfred <laughs> <laughs> but glad you're doing well man uh so much um but double a final thoughts Thanks, on, on this super clash on the the the, the Clash of the Titans. We could have used that title, but I had to remember the Titans last week, which I should have um, called that one Clash of the Titans. You know, we, we love the DC Marvel characters. They have such a great mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. great amount of characters. Um, and it's fine. It's fun to see the different matchups. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. It'd be cool if the companies would just put aside their egos and just maybe do some more, man. It's can you fun. Can you really have one go over, though? I mean, like, I mean Superman should always be... Pretty much the number one guy, almost. Afterwards, after that, I think it'd be okay. Yeah. You know? I if mean, if you're meaning if one of them can allow the, to accept the... I just I can't pride. see anyone beating Superman. Right. So would you do it... How would you do it? Would you do it 10 matches and then, like, somebody's going to give up five and somebody's going to give up... Somebody's going to take the... You know? I, I, guess, I guess that's the only way to do it because even, like, uh, when they would have, like, the WWE... 
F champion versus the NWA champion, that always went to a draw. So right, I guess right. that'd be the only one. I guess it just depends on who goes over. You, you've got to give it. You got to do it one way where you say like, okay, like, well, it doesn't matter who you give Superman. Feed us for Superman. He's got to win. You know what I mean? But maybe we'll give you guys like more. I don't know. It's got to work out some potential way for it to be too great. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of drama. I can see too much drama being there. So yeah, <laughs> I, I say do this: give it to the fans and give them good matchups, and then ex- but explain it. Explain why. You know, I love when these enthusiasts come out of the woodwork and they say, "Well, yeah, but this one time so and so did this." Because I was just hearing about this Silver Surfer Black, which I own, I think one or two issues of. And they're like, when he became the black version, it was like some other thing or whatever. Yeah. He was like almost like another. He was supposed to be like the essence of the cosmic stripped out. And I was like, what the? Again, I want someone to write. I want a good writer to explain that to me. Explain to me yeah. that power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, explain to me. Is it like, you know, I don't know. Is it like, oh, uh, it's like a toddler crashing through a sandcastle. I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of makes it understandable for me. You know what I mean? Help me understand how this power truly works yeah so. and alfred said his internet cut in and out regarding the uh the collective weekly but uh yeah i love both companies obviously some characters more than others and i'm getting interested in other characters in the other side so you know there's always there's always that or whatever or maybe you put them all like on a level playing field and maybe you say i don't know they're all i don't want to say stripped of their power because that makes it boring it's yeah, like it what does. the hell it's just a bunch of humans fighting or whatever you know yeah. what I mean? but you know because your abilities are kind of what help make that character so uh, I don't know. I think we did a good one. I thought we pulled out some good some good picks from there. Um, I had Lobo versus Deadpool on mine. Uh, Hawkeye versus Huntress. I don't know that much about Huntress. I put Flash and Iceman only because uh, he fights Captain Cold, so wouldn't Iceman be even worse? Yeah. How about <laughs> the Daily Planet versus the Daily Bugle? We used to have the San Antonio Light and the Express News, and eventually wow. the Express News toppled the light. Well, uh, they have Clark and Lois. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know, we got guys like like Peter who, you know, can't get it there on time, and any Brock who gets fired. And but Pete's photos when he does get him in, they're so amazing that no got, pun intended. Well, but they, then he's he's just a photographer. We don't even know like a writer, like on the staff is like what Phil Urich. Well, okay, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's definitely. A, we, we'll say uh, that lead who became Hobgoblin. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely say that Pete's a better photographer than Jimmy Olsen, though, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but well, at least when we you can got, say that. When you got Lois and Clark, I mean, damn. Yeah, that's true. That's like their number one and two writers right there. So I can't uh, even think of a damn. I think Lois has several Pulitzers. I think. Yeah, that's well, so yeah. like, Fucking forget it. Uh, Perry White versus Jay Jonah. Oh, Perry. Oh, I think I gotta go JJ Jay, Jay, on that. Jay's too biased. I want pictures of Spider Man. Yeah, he wants you to just fucking make him a villain. Come on, man. Jay Jonah wants to run like our like like the fucking Damn. Weekly World News with that boy. Like the, he wants to run the globe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this has been a fun one. I'm so happy the Double A is back. I am too. I'm happy to be back here in the studio, and we got more good stuff for you guys to come uh, next week. I think I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I don't um, know yet either. We're loving what if. We definitely want to talk what if. I told Double A maybe we should talk it in parts because to talk all however many episodes might be a lot since it's it's individual stories. Ten episodes. So maybe we could break it up, right? Like we'd we'll talk an episode about three, then an episode yeah. about another yeah. three. So yeah. potentially there's that too. We've got three out right now, which we're good and I think that are talk worthy. Um, but we'll see too. Also, I like the creator owned idea, whatever. And uh, see what you guys think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, send us some ideas, guys. Uh, do we need to do a watch box like the No Watch This podcast? I don't know. Uh, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> right yet. All right, guys. Well, uh, I've had a great time tonight. Uh, anything else, Double A? No, no. Just stay safe, guys. It's getting worse out there. It's getting uh, worse. Wear your mask. Wear get your vaccinated. Mask. Quarantine sucks, believe me. People. And you don't want to be in a hospital where you can't see anybody yeah. whatsoever because yeah. they're not letting anyone go to the hospital. So. People here we know have been sick and gotten better, and people in our community, like Alfred, have been sick and gotten better, so we don't yeah. want to see that anymore. Uh, guys, well, there is something that we do like to say at the end of every episode of Just Another Friday Night, and that is uh, to say that if there's something that you want to do, a hope, a dream, something you want to accomplish, like Marvel and DC, when they wanted to pit themselves against each other in four issues in the 90s and try to say who would be better, 
uh, they did it. They seized the day and they said, we're going to put it to the fans and let them vote on it. And it was some horrible matchups and <laughs> fan voting clearly was one-sided and biased with things that didn't make sense, like Storm beating Wonder Woman. Uh, as much as we love Storm, it doesn't make a lot of sense uh. if you're a comic book fan. And the other thing we got to say is, and again, a completely Marvel lean, although we've been told that we're DC centric, yeah, is that we specifically apparently. quote Captain America at the end and yeah. say, as Cap says in Endgame, in order to make this happen, we got to do whatever it takes. So, like, we wanted to do a show about Marvel versus DC, and it took us having to come up with our own matchups that we felt were worthy, uh, as uh, Thor is worthy of Mjolnir, and do whatever it takes to create the matchups and ultimately determine a winner. Hey, it would have been fun to call it a draw, right, and say no one is better than the other, but in this instance, we do have Marvel by one, by a nose hair, inching it out and coming out on top over DC. And again, it could have easily gone either way. While, while though we determined that Marvel would have ultimately won, we also determined that Superman is the most powerful. Maybe yeah. that's how they could do it, Double A. If they, if, if maybe if DC were to say, if you acknowledge Superman as unbeatable by all your characters, we'll give you more wins. Yep. It's basically like them saying like, okay, sure, you won the day, but we could easily send this guy we in to wipe out yeah. those winners. Yeah. So that's a, I think that's a, a very interesting dynamic to yeah. it. You know, that gives them both a little something like, I okay, think so. Well, Laura's yeah. going to have him. Yeah. And yeah, you might have got more wins, but I always got this yeah. guy to clean you guys out. All right, guys. Well, for myself, CM Chuck and Double A, this has been Just Another Friday Night. Good night.